Hey, hey, I'm I'm here. All right, I, I forgot to grab my coffee. Hey. Ow, ow. Ow. What the fuck? Why'd that hurt my hand? Ugh. No, 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 guys. Today's gonna be a fun stream. We're playing Endless Dark again. Remember that game I played like a year ago where you stared out into space and bad things happened? And I spent most of the time explaining how it was okay for me to flush the dentist because he would never, ever be helpful. So we sent him down a toilet in order to lose uh, weight on the ship so I could salvage his pod so I could repair something important. Yeah, they made the, so that back then I was playing the character that cared about their lives. They added one who doesn't. They added a fucking dude named Frank. And Frank hates all the passengers. It's like me. It's just, it's like he was made for me. It's perfect. Of course his name is Frank. Yeah, it'll be a good time. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna start like midway through the, uh... We're gonna do like a later act in the game this time so we can see some more of the ship. Because there's like a bunch of the ship that's added in the later parts of the game. That you just can't see if you only play the early game stuff. Which has no bearing on like the actual like real progression of anything it's just like they're all like their own arcs and like own special campaigns you go through so it's not like anyone's gonna be lost or anything here but uh we're gonna jump to one of the later parts so that we can access like some cool stuff this time should be fun i was a big fan of this last time i played it And then next time I can play uh, the one that just by design is made to go psycho. But I'll probably play Frank the angry one today because he's angry. I'll probably play Frank because I, yeah, I relate to him too. Is Frank also tragic? Well, we'll have to find out in game. All right, I can't wait for Tomato to go to the observation deck. Guys, they added self-improvement to the game. They actually added a bunch of stuff off of my, uh, like right after my stream of it last time and over the course like the next couple updates, including like catch up mechanics for if you get fucked 15 times with bad RNG like I have, there's like a thing you can do to like get a buff on your side in response to getting like fucked too many times. So, pretty good. It was bad RNG. When the devs of the game are in my chat going, I don't know why this is happening to you. Then, yeah, it was bad RNG. I'm, at that point, you can't copy him in. You can't be like, dude, he's fucking, he's cul- It's culp. What do you fucking mean? The devs told me it was bad. They said. They said! Top shelf cope. The good stuff. The good stuff. The good stuff. I've been saving this <laughs> for a special occasion. The dev said it was the game's fault, Madge. Copium. Guys, give me a like, throw me a bone. Throw me a fucking bone. Dad works at Nintendo tier. All right. It's all fun and games until you're in the cryogenic pods and I'm walking around as the custodian Frank. And I lose stress when I fucking flush one of you down the goddamn toilet. It's all fun and games until you realize the mechanical 
purpose of Frank as a robot is that I lose stress by sabotaging the machines of the ship and flushing you down the toilet. It's all going to be funny until then. I would not trust anyone or anything to thaw me. Dude, literally, like, the idea of going under cryogenic freezing to fast forward time, at, like, dude, at what point do you just make peace with the fact you may never wake up? I mean, I guess it's the same thing as being put under for, like, surgery or something. Tomato wouldn't flush me into the cold of space, bro. I'd save you for last. And then I'd flush you into the cold of space if I had to. But I would save you for last, don't worry. At least you're not being operated on by psycho robots yet. Dude! Unironically, part of me feels a lot better about the idea of robots doing surgery and freaking technicians for those robots watching over the robot's shoulder and making sure something bad doesn't happen to the robot. To be honest, I am okay with that. I am fine with like a, a little robot fixing up my body. I'm a-okay with that, dude. A robot can't be drunk during surgery. Yeah, a robot doesn't have as many bad days as a surgeon probably does. Guys, sometimes I, in my day-to-day -day life, wake up and feel like death. And I'll tell you what, if I felt like death and then had to go do brain surgery, man, shit, I feel like, I feel like it'd be pretty cool to know that a robot was like teed up to do that instead. Uh, imagine at the end, uh, imagine like a year after surgery, you're like talking to the surgeon who did the surgery on you and they're like, oh, that was like a bad day. I was fucked up, bro. Bro, I, I, now that we're a year away from it and you haven't had any complications, bro, I was zonked, dude. Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, there was one part where I kind of forgot where I was, so I restarted some of it, and then I realized I was doing the wrong surgery, so I just kind of glued that part back, back up, and uh, kind of freestyled some of it. I was zonked. Another fear unlocked. Guys, just have a perfect body that never has any problems. It's not hard. It's not hard. You're one to talk, Tomato? Oh, my body is perfect. Oh, I'm immaculate. Oh, I'm ascended. Uh, guys, don't, don't even think for a second that I'm not very powerful. I'm not having that surgery on my elbows. My elbows are great, actually, now. I'll have you know. These bad boys barely tingle, unless I keep them bent for like 30 seconds. The elbow, the colon, the eyes, the skin, the hair, the blood, the salt. The eyes? What do you mean the eyes? Wait, the other ones we joke about all the time, whatever. What do you mean the eyes? Cause I have glasses or the freckle? 
Stray the Gamer 86. Thanks for the five gifted subs. If I had an eye problem, how, pray tell, how would I read that message? Popping up at the top of my screen right there. Think about it. Oh my god, you're stupid! Do in moment. Chat, I'm cured. Guys. Guys. Don't you remember when I did that perfect uh, test run of that hue test? I'm cured. Plus, failed the chimp test. No, no, I passed that well. I beat that one by a lot, actually. You got an 11. That's better than a lot of other people I've seen. Who got like nines. Dude. You know what? Here's the thing. And I feel like I've said this. Chimps can be really good at memorization of symbols and stuff because their brain is unburdened by the metric shit ton of random bullshit I've retained in my life, including such things as bionicle lore. And these things are things I don't need. I don't need to know those things. I don't need that knowledge in there anymore. But it, when I'm doing matching, Sometimes I'm thinking about the Toa, okay? Sometimes I'm thinking about their great struggle. I'm thinking about Rapa Nui, and I'll tell you what, uh, it's fucking hard. It's hard. It's hard, guys. Educate us, you're not ready. Guys, sorry, I'm gatekeeping that hard, okay? Like, look, you're not ready. I'm gonna gatekeep that. What? Yeah. Yeah, no. You're not gonna be getting that. I'm actually keeping you from it. I don't want you to have it. The movies are literally on YouTube. Literally! Bro! But yeah, I mean, like, if chimps also had to fucking be burdened with random factoids, they'd probably slow down their freaking memorization a little bit. This hard drive in my brain hasn't been defragmented in, like, fucking 27 years. It just keeps on taking on new information and then clumsily deleting some of it. I barely know what's happening. My brain doesn't work that good anymore. Beams 9.5 hours of Bionicle lore into your mind. Dude, it's like, the problem is like, it's not even the lore I can call upon. But like, if someone says lore about Bionicle, it like fucking awakens it in my head and I start frothing at the mouth. I start immediately frothing at the mouth. The what now? You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. Taka Nuva rips off Makuta's mask, and they both fall into the lair's pool of energized protodermis. They emerged fused into a single being called Tuku Tanuva. <laughs> With Takanuva's benevolent personality in control. That shit goes hard, guys. That's why he can't be a chimp. Dude, 
How about we give some chimps some fucking reading material and fucking then see how they do on their goddamn mat? Put them in front of like a put them in front of one of those freaking shows or something with some serious goddamn lore, like a freaking entire franchise of Bionicle stuff. Make them build Bionicles. Make them become a Bionicle boy, and then and then have them do matching and see how much it fucking absolutely fries their brain. All right. Give them the novels. Yeah, that's how you fucking... Get them the young adult novels. Yeah. Give them the good shit. Give them the bulky ones. Bionicle is over. Hero Factory replaced it. Shut the fuck up. Shut fuck up. What the? Dude, that makes me sad. Does Lego City feature in Bionicle lore? There's no such thing as Lego lore, guys. Leave that shit away from Bionicle lore. Bionicle and Lego. All right, get that shit the fuck out of here. Who fucking cares? Bro, there was literally Lego Spider-Man question marks. Literally. Listen, there's only two lores I care about in this world. Bionicle lore and Beyblade lore. Okay, do not fucking come at me with any other bullshit. I just don't care. I don't have the space. What it rip. What it rip. Yu-Gi-Oh lore. Yu-Gi-Oh's got some good stuff to you guys. Come on, we can be real. Yu-Gi-Oh's got some good stuff, too. We know this. Bakugan, get that trash out of here. Dude, the worst thing that ever happened in this goddamn industry of various toys that became shows or vice versa was Bakugan. Holy crap. Get that crap out of here. Jesus. I don't want to ask time for that. Remind your chat that in canon Beyblade lore, Moses parted the Red Sea by letting a primordial Beyblade rip. And that might just be that thing that might. It goes hard, guys. That shit goes so fucking hard. Nothing's gone harder than Moses parting the Red Sea with a fucking primordial Beyblade. Okay. It goes hard. Not many. Not many shows and franchises were brave enough to insert a scene where a biblical figure, in fact, really used their brand in order to do a massive godlike action. It's great. It's great. I love it. Let my people rip. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's like actually fucking badass of Beyblade though because like Fucking hell. I don't. Yu Gi Oh! didn't touch upon Moses or anything like that, right? Yu Gi Oh! did a lot of like Egyptian lore, but like old school Egyptian, like old, old school, right? I don't think it aligned with anything, with anything in Christianity or like Judaism or anything whatsoever at all. I don't think it was anywhere near that. The Pharaoh's curse. 
I think Yu-Gi-Oh stayed away from uh, stayed away from the uh, religious side of things. That or Jesus did use the seal of Orcalcos at one point or another. It might I can't remember. I can't remember. Arc V went into some religious shit. Who fucking gives a single shit about a, any Yu-Gi-Oh show after the original and maybe like half of GX? Actually raise your hand so I can know who to avoid. Please. Please. Hi, me. L Lena, you telling me you were out here watching the motorcycle Yu-Gi-Oh show? They're, you're, you're, they're just lying to be controversial. They're lying. No way. Is there a problem? Yeah, it's that you're lying. 5Ds was good. Fuck you. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Real Yu-Gi-Oh! lore is learning that the Shadow Realm was completely made up by localization and people just died in the original. Yeah, but honestly, if people just died, it would not have gone as hard as it did. I think we can all agree that the Shadow Realm was way scarier as a kid than someone just fucking dying. Somehow, dude, the scariest thing that could happen to someone was being sent to a fucking another dimension forever. <laughs> that wasn't death. It seems like a worse punishment, actually. I don't know. I <sighs> Look, if someone challenged me to a duel and they said they're going to send me the Shadow Realm, I'd be like, I'd start taking it pretty like I that I would dial in and fucking like take very seriously. But if they said, if you lose this duel, I'm going to kill you. I'd say, well, and then I'd use my dual disc, which is basically a blade to punch them until they are dead in real life. Like, I'm not going to fucking leave that to cards anymore. I would just simply step up. I don't like that's I guess that's why they probably label it as Shadow Realm, because that that implies that it is not. I have no say in this. This is magic now. But if you just say if you lose, you're dying. I'd be like, well, I'd like to see you fucking try and I'd step up. You know? <laughs> Remember when Kaiba threatened to throw himself off a building if Yugi beat him in the duel? <laughs> and that's... And that's, that's really good. That's really good. And I'm glad he said that. <laughs> that sometimes you have to do whatever it takes to get someone to let you win in a card game. And honestly, if that was me in Monopoly, I would tell whoever I need to that I'm going to literally throw myself down a well if you take that hotel from me. I'll do whatever it takes. I mean, Bandit Keith does pull a gun on Pegasus. Yeah, but I mean, like, everyone knew he was going to do that. His name was Outlaw Criminal Kevin, dude. Like, what do you fucking want? Like, well, like of course he's going to pull out a gun. <laughs> it's John Crime.
Yu-Gi-Oh! is wild for having that one guy who married a body of water. I remember that, but also don't. Like, I remember, I, I can't, can't remember. Perfect, I think I remember that character, the fish guy. Yeah, the dude with the trident. Mako Tsunami. Yep, there he is. Mako Tsunami. What a name. Chat, we're working with people like Mako Tsunami and Bandit Keith. Like, come on. Like, let's not act like his is any crazier. Like, I'm pretty sure the- I'm pretty sure the guy who liked dinosaur monsters was called Rex. Yeah, Rex Raptor. And the bug boy was named Weevil. Weevil Underwood. Literally, Weevil Underwood. What the fuck is your deal? Relax. Joey Wheeler loved cars. Yeah, it was like they made like four characters with real names and then they just got sick of it and were like, let's just make everyone Let's just make everyone obnoxious stereotypes of whatever thing they like. We're just going to name everyone the thing they like. We're going to pigeonhole these characters hard. And then there's just Tristan. Yeah, I mean, honestly, guys, we can all say we can we can. Why did Tristan exist? Even as a kid, I was like, I hope Tristan gets fucking blasted by like a freaking like rogue dragon blast from one of the duels and just gets turned to dust. He sucks. Tristan was a hero. What? Name one thing he did. He did have super strength. Name one thing he did. You're saying all these things, dude. But, like, unless he punched someone when they tried to duel him, what did it matter? Because everything was based around duels. Didn't he punch the boulder? The boulder. <laughs> The known boulder. The, the, the boulder, you know, the boulder. What the hell? Why did, why did Tristan hang out with them? Like, it's like... It's like hanging out with, it's like being the one guy who doesn't like League that hangs out with seven people who are so obsessed with League that it's all they do 24-7. It's like, dude. So you. <laughs> oh, 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 what the? Huh? Get Tristan. No. No, 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 no. Guys, I don't feel good. That sucked. What the fuck? Stream canceled. No, guys, it's gonna be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get my morale back by flushing people down the cryogenic toilet. Guys, everything's gonna be. Tomato has weevil energy. We both know that's not true.
We both know I don't have weevil energy. Just not true. When are we gonna update these tags? Never, I like the ones that we have. I like them. Cope Hardman. What the fuck? Did you just call me? Why are we doing Death Stranding names now? Dude, I want to play Death. When's Death Stranding 2 come out? Hey. When, when the hell is Death Stranding 2 releasing, dude? Death Stranding 2 could launch in 2025. That makes me angry. That made me mad right there. Oh, you need to update the walking more? Oh, you need to up. Oh, you want to add? You want to add more walking? How much more dev cycle do you need? You know what they need to do in that game is fucking make the combat playable, dude. Holy shit! That's what I'm gonna need. The walking is fine. I need them to make the combat combat, please, 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 fix that, please. You just don't understand Strand gameplay. Dude, Death Stranding was one of my favorite games of that year. It's just the combat was shit. And I cannot, I, I, to this day, I can't believe how bad the combat was. Wrong? No, it's no, it's right. The worst parts of that game was whenever you'd be forced into a combat story sequence and you'd have to fight. It's supposed to suck, bro. 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 You're playing art, Tomato. It's intentionally bad. <laughs> it's made this way deliberately to make you feel bad. <laughs> You're supposed to feel like an Amazon driver, desperate and hopeless. True, true. It really made me feel like a minimum wage Delivery driver, barely scraping by. See, what the next game needs to add is that mechanic of whenever Sam dies, uh, he actually gets resurrected and creates a nuclear bomb-sized crater where my character died. Let me get the bad ending by accidentally biting it 15,000 times while trying to deliver mail. Come on, dude. Let me fucking turn the entire countryside into craters. All right? And have other players creators go into your game as well. Yeah, let's let's fucking have a game where we just dig to the core of the planet. Yeah. Come on. That's called Terraria.
What is the difference between Lethal Company and Death Stranding anyways? Uh, one is picking up mail and taking it to a box. The other one is taking mail to somewhere. Yes. Yes. God damn, I want to play Death Stranding again, dude. Have there been any mods for that game? There, there's not any mods, are there? Dude. <sighs> not really anyone said a decent, probably, for a game like that. Yeah, they made a randomizer? Wait, really? I don't, I just looked it up. I didn't find it. You, just, you lied. You lied. Ban them. Actually time them out for like a fucking fifth. Did you see his response? Oh yeah? What'd he say? Better be the link. Of course not. Time them out for fucking two hours. Two hours. Two thousand years you'll be timed out, you fuck. That's so harsh. Exiled! You can untime them out after the fucking intro is done because I don't want to see them again. Wait, isn't that a veteran chatter? I don't care how veteran any of you are. You should consider that before you freaking spread misinformation. None of you are safe. Not one. Not one of you. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Actually, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then I'll be back. And then, uh, start flushing people down the cryogenic toilet on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're back. It's time. Shut the f fuck up. It's time. Space. What the heck's up with it anyway? What's going on? What's going on out there? What the, what the hell is going on out there anyways? Something, something's up about it. New game. So, last time I played this game, I played Robbie, the diligent, anxious, excellent psychosis-brained, 
mechanical efficiency and dedicated to his work. Robot, good at repairing systems, loves his job, loves his life. Uh, at that time, there was also Annie, who is a psychotic maniac bent on losing their mind within the first two turns of the game and being unable to function forever afterwards. Uh, literally a, uh, just a freaking actual psychopath. Uh, but since then, a new robot has been added. Frank! The angry robot. Fury 18 is a prototype model indifferent to tragedy. Okay, good start. Losing stress for ignoring repairs, sabotage, or killing passengers. Fury 18 has a pre-installed kinetic module that can remove temporary insanities by killing passengers. Okay, okay. Fury 18 must sabotage a system every cycle or he gains stress. Gains extra fatigue when repairing gain stress when repairing pods, and may kill passengers during stress breaks. Good. Good. We will consider it a win if even one passenger survives the journey. We will consider it a win. Now, normally I would continue on with Act 2, Arc 1. These are all individual stories. So the first time I played this, day, this game, I did our Act 2, Arc 1 Contingency, uh, which was um, a storyline based around fixing the core of the ship, which was breaking and was locking us out. Uh, I'm this time, though, going to do Act 2, Arc 1. Specifically because it means we'll be getting access to other parts of the ship. Because in Act 2, you get a new uh, upgrade. I think midway through this arc, we'll get a new update upgrade that'll allow us to enter parts of the ship that appear on, appeared on our map last time. But we couldn't actually open the doors for. We'll get a thing to unlock doors, I think, in this act. So we're going to do Act 2 this time. We'll do this one. Uh... Specifically, uh, exploring the ancient machine, the new ship. Yes. And we will be playing Frank, who is a angry, explosive creature with a psychosis of fine. He's fine. He's good. Uh, you may install previous custodian achievements into your memory card to improve yourself. Increase memory capacity and unlock new memories by earning achievements. Dangerous memories increase capacity but make the journey harder. There's only one memory I have by the looks of it, uh, which is hidden reserves, uh, which means my reactor generates plus one power. I knew it was slacking off, says Frank. I knew it was slacking off. I knew there was something wrong with it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The reactor is going to work better. Game settings and difficulty may adjust the base game difficulty with a wide variety of game options to suit your optimal custodian experience. There is a win condition in this game. You get points at the end depending on how well you did. But really, the game is more about the story it tells and like the fun you have doing it, etc, etc. So, uh, we are going to play on hard, which is what I did last time. We're going to play on the same difficulty. Uh, now, we're going to have normal pressure, normal inspirations, which are new. Uh, decaying ship. Ship will get worse. Nightmares is also new. Uh, bounded weather. Uh, uh, story meta rewards. Let's get us some additional upgrades. I don't need the tutorial because I already remember how to play. Let's begin. Custodian protocols activated. Unit designation. Frank. Greetings. Unit Fury 18. Mission imperatives. Keep all systems online. Ensure passenger safety. Do not engage in independent thought. Refer to mission protocol MC419 for clarification. Uh, confirm what can change the nature of a machine. Here we are, chat. Frank. Good to see you. He's mad. Do chill. All right, let's take a look around. So let's check my uh, tasks for today. I have a couple. Oh, hang on, actually, set options. Uh, 
hardware light. There's something I ticked last time to make the... Oh, I see. Okay. I, for I forgot. I didn't really use the mouse very much because it kind of like glitches out sometimes. Okay. Uh, my tasks for today are sabotage your system uh, immediately. Use observation window, install module, and enter. And if I don't sabotage, it's going to increase my stress. Uh, this is my fatigue. I can only do so many tasks in a day. This game works on a turn-based kind of system. I, uh, the day won't end until I go to sleep, and that's a turn. I have so many things I can do in a turn until then I can wander around the ship and do whatever the fuck I want, as long as it doesn't use energy. Uh, we have a certain amount of fatigue every turn. We have a certain amount of stress every uh, before we, like, explode. And we have psychosis, which is my mental stability and awareness. High psychosis makes insanity more likely and Frank less trustworthy. At maximum psychosis, Frank will power down forever. So this is the real game ender, is if you reach maximum psychosis. If you go insane, you lose the game. We've got some modification slots. I have a yellow one to put on heat recyclers, which I'm going to put on right away because I just have it for free. This module redistributes heat throughout your chassis, allowing you to perform actions much faster and increasing walking speed. Boom, way faster. Nice job out there, Frank. First thing we're going to do today is uh, take a look around. I'm going to show you guys the uh, ship. Well, the ship I'm actually available to uh, navigate around. Over here we have the uh, reactor bay. Uh, here, here we have the reactor bay. I'm not going to fuck with it. Uh, reactor control is right there. Uh, we can't actually um, open the armored core of the ship. We can't get in there. Uh, we're not actually allowed. Down here we have the uh, engines. Yep, this is the engine system. Uh, these are the two main parts of it. Here's the engine. We're not going to be... Whoa, what the fuck was that? My guy started tapping something. We're going to leave those two things as is. I don't know why. I was already starting to do things. So chat, in this game, the robot will start um, doing things he's not supposed to over time as they break down. And if I'm not paying attention to what they're doing, they'll do something that I don't want them to do and use my action points while doing it. Up here we have the, uh, what is this anyways? The airlock. Wait, is this new? What the? Open airlock chamber. At least it's open airlock. Maybe we don't do that. Uh, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe I close airlock and we don't open the airlock. I'm gonna close that bad boy back up and we are gonna move on with our lives. That's new though. Uh, that didn't used to be there. So over here's Cryo. Look at all of them, Chad. These are our people. Here's the pods. Pod stasis module prototype. Uh, provides life support, nutrient filtration, waste disposal, metabolic inhibitors. There are 10 living passengers in these machines. We have such people as E. Sherman. That's a 40 year old Elias Sherman. They're a clown. We got a clown on the ship. We got a dude named freaking Ania Roach. They're an architect. We got Vanessa Rios, a paramedic. We got a freaking Marcos Hartman, a receptionist. We got a professional athlete, Byron McCann, over here. Oh, I was start. Hang on, sorry. I started accidentally repairing something. Uh, let me. Uh, I'm gonna tap on the glass for Porter here. They're not responding. Uh, we have a Keith Porter, an anthropologist. We got Deanna Burke, an editor. We got Daphne Cook, a clinical laboratory technician. We have. Brennan Blankenship, that's a fake fucking name. Automotive mechanic. Yeah, this guy's getting flushed. That's not this Blankenship. B Blankenship. I don't uh, think you're real. And here we have Ant Juan Munaz, a web developer. Okay. So the most valuable person here is E. Sherman the Clown. I'm going to tap on the glass. No response. I'm going to take a look in there. Uh, look, they're going to be fine. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna search the lockers, but only after I've tapped on them to make sure there's nothing in them. Nothing of interest inside it. Tap on this one. I'm not up to it right now. Did I look away and he's tried to do something else that I wasn't sure of? 
I found a spare machine part inside. Amazing. Perfect. And up here we have, uh, the infirmary. This is a thawing chamber. I'm not authorized to use it. Which is fine. We're gonna search this. Nothing in there. All these lockers need to be searched. Oh, I almost poured out all my coolant. Uh, we don't want to do that. Nothing of interest in there. Here we have, uh, an office room. Not much in here at all. Another thawing chamber. Found a spare machine part. Perfect. We're gonna need those. Another one. Search here. Nothing of interest inside. Here we have the, uh, room for, uh, I don't know what that is. We're, we're missing the textures for these rooms, so I can't actually identify it. But, um, it's probably helpful for us. This is a room where you can't unlock. I don't know what's in here. Sometimes I hear scratching on the inside of it. Which is weird because there's no living creatures on this ship, but the things inside the pod. That's another machine part. Very good. I'll loot these lockers as well. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Another machine part. That's really good. We have eight machine parts going into this first day on the job. Now, here's what I am thinking. Uh, now, we are not gonna need all of these machines here. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty quick dismantle here. I also am going to need to sabotage something soon that will need to come up. So I'm gonna head on down to observation window. We can go in any order we want on these objectives. So I'm actually gonna do my observation first. Yep, that shutter's working. Now let's pop it open. There it is. Our only window into the outside world. Out there. The void. Space. That's it. I'm gonna gaze into the endless dark. Here I go, I'm gazing. With the shutter disengaged, a thick sheet of glass is now all... That separates you from the void. Your conformity protocols disable your optical sensors and loop a warning. The window is exclusively for human use. Your programming compels you to turn away. So we have three options. You can turn away and nothing happens. You can gaze into the endless dark, which will make something happen. Most likely. Or... Take some time for self-reflection instead, which will start a self-improvement mini-arc. We don't really need to do any self-improvement right now, so I'm going to simply gaze into the endless dark. Your senses detect a minute amount of data in the visual spectrum. After processing this, your motion circuitry encounters corrupt data. To recover it, you suspend analysis altogether. Are we going in reverse? Lose one distance travel. Lock observation for one turn. Well, if you're locked, then what good are you? Sabotage! I'm locked out! Fuck! God damn it! I should have broke it! I'm gazing again! The door's already open, doofus! You can't close the window! I gaze again! You've already gazed. Ah, fuck. Fuck! God damn it! Shit! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh. Breaker for fire doors. Sabotage that. Cleaning hazard. No, sabotage it. Is this really that important? You're gonna be fine. Sabotage that. Oh! That's not even a system. That was a fucking breaker thing. It wasn't even. I gotta, now I gotta. I repair the breaker. And now, let me find something to actually break that didn't even count as a system. Uh, I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one, guys. I, I just thought of a really good one to break. You guys are going to love this. Oh, navigation. Oh, nav first I want to listen to the radio. Huh, nothing but static. Anyways. Alright. 
Now to repair it is what I would do if I was planning on that. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep. Navi Listen, it's a straight line. Why would we even need to? Why would we need to fix it? It's a straight line. I'm going to sleep. End turn. I feel exhausted but laid back. I'm centered. I'm keeping everyone alive and the ship is in good condition. I can review the ship log before I power down, but I cannot make any changes to it. Should I review the log or commit it and power down for the cycle? Commit log and power down. We took care of it. Today was a good day. Good night. Begin maintenance protocol cycle two. Ten passengers alive. Please repair all systems. Eh, uh, what? Okay, repair system and navigation. Yup, uh, we can go ahead and deal with that. Who broke this? Who the hell broke this? Repair it. Okay, turn this shit on. What is this? There, Jesus. System navigation on glitched. Uh, the system's power requirements are fluctuating wildly, giving it 50% chance to power off if you repair, sabotage, toggle power, overclock the system. Well, I'm not planning on it. Uh, I'm gonna overclock something else today. But first, I'm gonna spend some time dismantling these- oh, I'm already fucking tired. Dude! Repairing that fucking system was exhausting! I'm t I'm going to sleep. Shit day. I'm going to shields, I'm gonna- I'm gonna fucking repair shields, and then I'm going- I'm gonna clean up the spill in shields, and then I'm going to sleep. Shit day. What the hell even is shields? I don't remember where shields is. The fuck am I? Uh, shields down here? Is this- is this shields? What is this? Oh, this is replicate- these are the replicated. Hang on. I am going to build... Uh, let's see here. I will have I have spare limb parts still. Hang on, machine parts. Universal machine parts on demand. Circuit breaker. Cannot be manually uninstalled. No, I don't want that. Uh, frequency tuners raise overclocking success chance by 50% but occur plus one per psychosis penalty each time they they're used. I'm gonna be fine. I'm loading this up. Good. We're making a frequency tuner. That'll take some time. I, we need to start overclocking. We're gonna be late. Where the hell are shields? Guys, I don't- Oh, I remember now. Okay, they're up north. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's repair shield. Frank hates his job, don't we all? He's relatable. Something took a piss in shields! Fucking- All right, got it. Anyways. <laughs> Piece of trash. Going to sleep. Good night. Well, I'm gonna observe the endless dark and then I'm going to fucking sleep. Are you working yet? Open. I said open. Open the window. Hey, <sighs> what a world. Gaze. I'm gazing. With the shutter disengaged, a thick sheet of glass is now all that separates you from the void. Gaze. Your sensors absorb a staggering amount of data in the gamma ray spectrum. After processing this data, your emotion circuitry throws an exception. To code around it, you suspend analysis altogether. The reactor is malfunctioning! The ship experiences a power surge. All systems are randomly overclocked or locked for one turn. I, uh... I think the ship's turned off. I'm going to sleep. That's a tomorrow problem. That's a tomorrow problem. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Uh, day three. That's a long list of tasks. Everything, uh, everything's looking good. Next page. Everything's fine. All right. Ah, my brain! For some reason, you're noticing a lot of tiny things off around the ship this cycle. Ancient scuff from a bit of machinery in the corridor floor. An extra splatter of grime on the hatches. A tiny amount of ground in dirt on the seams joining the structural beams to the hull. None of these things are violations and your programming actively advises you to disregard them. But they 
bother you. Need your programming do nothing for five psychosis. Fix the most visible problems only. No, that boosts my stress. Focus on the areas you spend the most time. Lock one random system for three turns. For the next three turns, at the beginning of the turn, plus five stress or clean the ship. Ignore it. You carry on, but the nettling concerns continue to mount. Nothing is ever as easy as your programming ever suggests it could be. That thought once formed sticks in your core worse than any stubborn piece of filth and remains as elusive as the worst note of wispy waste mode of wispy waste. What about what you think? Why is all of this so unimportant? Who prioritized this and how? Vexation breeds into rotting resentment. A ship should be a ship shape. It's almost a tautology. Maybe you really do know better than whatever Claude designed your programming. You carry on. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's some people dying. Hang on. Oh, hang on! My frequency tuner is done. Installed. Cool. Yeah. How you guys feeling? Uh oh, I'm locked out. Oops. Hang on. Uh, I gotta fix these. This is too much to deal with right now. I'm out of here. Let's worry. Let's, uh, let's do this uh, one thing. I to fucking hang on. It, 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 it's just too much. It's all. It's just a little too much for me. I, I'm gonna have to fix all the breakers, and they're all fucking broken. I need security doors fixed. God fucking damn it! I have an idea. Fuck! I'm actually locked out of everything until I fix these fucking breakers. Close the breaker. Close the breaker. I damaged it. Fuck! Force it closed. Close it. Close it. Close it. Good. I'm here to fix up the, uh, the, the fucking pot. How you all doing? Whoa! Don't flush him yet. Hang on, check this. Online, nominal, everything's working, everything's fine. Two of these pods aren't doing that great, and it's specifically this one. Pod two needs to be repaired. Boom, fixed. I hate doing this. God, I hate doing this shit. And McCann B. Listen, McCann. <sighs> What's your job again? Byron, professional athlete? Yeah, how about you run the rest of the way? How about that? Whoa, saved by the tapping. Okay, uh, fine. I'll, I, I, dude, look at how much stress I get from saving him versus killing him. Yeah, I bet you run the rest of the way, huh, asshole? I bet you run. Wait a minute. Is this even the right one? Dying. Yep, that's him. Yeah, flush him. Flush that guy. Hey, I'll see you later. You walk the rest of the way, all right? Doofus. See ya. That made my guy feel really good. I'm going to sleep. Alright, let's go turn on the engine and we'll go to sleep. Come on, guys. Why is this door fucked? Who cares about it? Someone spilled goop on the ground over here. Clean that. Let's just get the engine on and then we'll just kind of go straight. Man, I'm quick. Power on. There's not enough power to turn it on. Why? Why is that? Shields are on and damaged. Well, well, if they're damaged, who cares if they're on or not? They're barely working. I'm going to turn off the shields. Let me in here. Hang on, I gotta lock my mouse to the game. Shield piece of shit. Turn it off. You know what? Even better. Sabotage it. I'm, I've had enough of this. <laughs> then I won't be using any more power. Everything's right as rain.
We have one spirit power. It's just you have to turn on the engines. Thank God. Nope, oh, that's tapping. Power it on. Thank God. Now, we have some broken systems, but I'm tired, and I had a long day. We lost someone, chat. We need to go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. I'm ending my turn. I feel worn out, but overworked. I'm unshaken. Most pods are intact, but some systems require maintenance. I don't care. Good night. Day four. On the shithole ship. All right. Review maintenance log. How bad could it be? Lots of crap. Okay. Repair system and engines. Okay, let's start with the little stuff, guys. Let's start with engines. Engines has a problem. So we have a lot of machine parts. I'm gonna swing by engines and get that done first. Repair. Oh, that's just gonna ruin my day. I don't even want to do it. Guys, that's just gonna ruin my fucking day to repair that. Look at how much- look at how that's gonna fucking tire me out. Whatever, fine. Repair it. I'm tired now. I feel like shit. I hell do I have to do any of this? It's all- there's always some bullshit happening. This door's broken too. And you know how much that would tire me out to fucking fix that? We're never fixing that. That door's gonna stay broke forever. Okay, we gotta repair- we gotta repair command too. Observation's also fucked. It's all fucked. Let's repair freaking nav. Okay, there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go turn on observation. I'm gonna stare into the void and hope that it saves me. It's already bad out here, guys. Now open the fucking window. We're gonna stare out into the void and everything else will fix the next time. Okay, command and shields can stay fucking... Ah! Ah! What is that? Ow! Oh! Navigation has 100% chance of avoiding EMP storms if overclocked. Oh, I got a new memory. Okay. Why didn't this turn on? Turn this on. Power on. Good. Now open it. I gaze into the void again. I'm gonna gaze. You detect absolutely nothing, not even the x-ray spectrum. While processing this outcome, your CPU encounters corrupt data. To recover it, you temporarily pause processing, wait for your cache to flush, and retry. I feel a lot better now. Yep, that helped me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, repair something else. Maybe we fix up, uh, shields. And maybe everyone will stop complaining about how fucked the ship is. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's for the best. Gonna give it a repair. Alright, guys. I'm gonna get back to work. And by get back to work, I mean I'm going to sleep. End turn. I said, end turn. Good night. Guys, my stress is really high. Um. Guys. <laughs> Plus one stress from frequency tuner upkeep. Okay. Minus four stress from refusing to repair systems. Okay. Plus 18 stress from nine living passengers making Frank angry. That pisses me off. I feel like I should have less people on this ship. Why do I have to take care of so many of these assholes? Let's flush some. That makes me mad. Nine's way too many. I should only be taking care of like two. We keep the calm. Uh, Frank needs to break stuff. Plus 20 stress. Uh, memory corp upkeep charging station refresh. It's bad. Well, time to flush some. That shit, I've had enough of this. Scoop. <laughs> Which one of you is the lucky person who's gonna get flushed? Daphne Cook, clinical laboratory technician. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Editor. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, anthropologist. Uh, let's see. Receptionist. Paramedic. Yeah, maybe you could get out of here and go check on the last guy I flushed, Rios. Fuck off! Get the fuck out of here. The immense pressure you're under has not gone unnoticed by you nor the ship. Your charge and cradle in particular has been monitoring ship events over the past few cycles and has invoked a special set of subroutines intended to provide emergency relief. Help me. Help me. This is making me feel way better. We're gonna reduce some more stress. Ah, look at me, I'm feeling good now. Look guys, I feel better. Got some, got some, Vanessa Rios had to die, but now I can sabotage these unused pods, which will make me feel even better later. That's great. It's really good actually. So repair pod seven. Oh my, Fucking god. Hell, he's this. Automotive mechanic? Yeah, get rid of him like the last guy. Fucking get out of here. If your pod breaks, you're gonna die. I don't know what else to say. You know how hard it is. Get out of here. Brennan Blankenship, fake name. Fake name, not even real. Saves me the goddamn work, I'll tell you that much. See ya. And goodbye. Okay, so I have to repair the fire door breaker. Now, that isn't... What the... Huh? 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 I'm gonna repair the breaker. I fucking hate doing this shit. But, uh, whatever. Divide by zero. I fucked it up. Repair it again. Jesus. All right, replicator's broken, reactor's broken, and system command is broken. Wait, no, 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 only system command is broken. The other two just have, like, fuck, it's gonna use all my energy, which is gonna stress me out. Whatever. Do it. Repair it. I need to. Okay, okay, okay. Let's zen out. Head on over to uh, the fucking uh, observation deck. Let's zen out. We'll fix the doors later. Let's... Guys, I have some... I, I have an idea. I'm gonna open the window. And maybe we, uh... Why do I have radiation? Ionizing radiation detected. Lowering reliability. Increasing insanity risk. Uh, nothing a little bit of a gaze. Couldn't solve. Maybe I do some self-reflection. I'm already half insane. You know what? Let's gaze. I'm absorbing some ga uh, some data, and uh, I've reduced my stress again. Oh my god, I'm feeling great. I've gazed. I'm feeling good. Let's fucking roll. Do I sabotage something? Mm, no. No, let's go to sleep. Wait. No. Yes. Good night. What happens if I overclock this? Next time when I have energy. End turn. I feel done for now, but nonchalant. I feel a little odd. Most passengers are safe, but the ship is intact. But attention is required. Uh, we're fine. Go to sleep. We'll figure it out in the morning. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Pod 6 is broken. Frank's on his way. Your attention wavers for a moment, and you fail to transmit a door open code in time. You clatter against it at a brisk walk. You're undamaged, and are about to brush the situation off when you hear something rattling around in your left arm. Alarmed, you take off the shell. It's a small implant with three parts you recognize. What? One magnetic and one electrical sensor, plus a small radio transmitter. This is not part of your schematic. And you definitely did not install this. Toss it and be done with it? No, 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 no. Dutifully replace it. Replace it. If, if it's part of my body, it's part of my body. You feel your core whirring as you grind through the new universe that has revealed itself before you. It freezes you to the spot for a long, long time. 
After almost a full minute, you interrupt yourself, musing on how something so small could somehow cause such a massive shift in your thinking and outlook. Reality seems so much more complicated now. You freeze for another long moment, then, with an abrasive grunt, you replace the implant where it was seated, just behind the rotating joint in your left shoulder. You just need to go back to the way things were. It's too hard to consider the new universe, but you'll always know it's there. You might look away from it, but it's still there. I feel great and fine and there's nothing wrong. Now stop bothering me. Uh, repair. Oh, fuck this. What the? Where the fuck is the goddamn parts? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Huh? I have to get the repair pod sick. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get lost. Get ready. Here it comes, guys. Who is this? Antoine Munaz, web developer. How stressed am I? That's going to stress me out to repair that. But you know what I could do is fucking... No, that's going to psychosis me. Dude, I can't afford more psychosis. I'll fucking die. God fucking damn it, we're repairing this one. That really pisses me off. You should be dead. <laughs> Don't you hear me in there? You should be dead! Taps on glass. Wake up! Whatever. These doors are never getting fixed. We're never fixing those. Uh, let's see. Repair system and command replicator. Uh, there's a leak in navigation. Let's go get that. We have to power on shields. For some reason, shields are off. Don't know why. Who pissed here? Clean that. Let's go to shields. Turn this back on. Who turned these off? There. Now, I have to repair command. That's important. 92% chance to do that right, huh? We'll repair it. Or, I don't. That'll help my stress. What the? Get lost. Maybe I don't. Instead, I just spend this time in the last of my energy gazing into the void. Guys. Remember, I don't like repairing. I only do it because the game bothers me about it. Uh, yes. I gaze. You know, maybe now's a good time with my psychosis half full, my stress almost full. I'm pretty tired. I've got low reliability because of an ion storm. Uh, maybe it's time to take uh, some time for self-reflection. Gazing into the void is one of the few things you can do on this ship that isn't strictly related to your work. Time for self-reflection and improvement. Uh, is rare. Despite endless cycles, you whittle away. So taking advantage of the moments you do have is important. A uh, self-improvement mini-arc will start on the next cycle. Cool. Cool and good. Glad. Glad that's how it's playing out. Uh, we have a lot of energy still, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear all the computers in the ship apart and take out all their uh, pieces. The last of my energy, I'm just going to start ripping apart navigation. Yes. Yep. Get all those parts, and now we go to sleep. Tomorrow's a new day. Go to sleep. Cycle seven. Another pod is broken. Look, I'm stressed the fuck out. I'm gonna have to flush that fucker. And the kitchen sink part one. For the past few cycles, there's been a pile of trash accumulating in command. It's me. I'm sorry. A variety of different broken parts, rusted metal, and dust have accumulated all over the room. With how many things you've had to fix, including your own charging pod, there's no surprise that this much junk is gathered. It also isn't your problem. True! Unfortunately, the ship disagrees and you've begun to get pings about cleaning up the surrounding area. This isn't something you're going to be cleaning without dedicating time you should be using elsewhere. Uh, let's see, I can uh, shove it into a corner. Uh, plus one of three required progress towards reform. Uh, negotiate with the ship. Should boost my psychosis and give me some progress. 
or uh, I could make more trash. Great minor hazard. Fuck this! Makes more trash. It isn't your job to keep the ship clean. The only job that you were given is to make sure that the token that a token amount of humans survive the trip. Okay? The floor is not humans. The trash is not humans. Therefore, it is not your job to worry about the trash. You unceremoniously dump some more of your own oil onto the ground, making a dry pile of trash into a vaguely wet pile of trash. Astounding how everything, once it is on the floor, becomes trash. Fuck you, ship! Slash me peas on the trash? Fuck you! Don't tell me what to do ever! Who's the lucky bastard? Which one of you is it? Roach? A Roach, huh? Anita Roach, the architect? Yeah, flushed. Next time, have a working pod. It's what you get for flying economy. That pissed me off. That made me angry. <laughs> Amelia Roach pissed me the fuck off. Fuck them. <clears throat> Command is fucked. Replicator door is fucked. There's a leak in the reactor. When am I gonna get a day off? That's what I'm fucking wondering. Where is this leak I've been hearing about? Where is it? I'm at the reactor. Where's the leak? God damn it. Insert self into airlock. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Wa 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 This is probably the dust cloud's fault. I don't want to flush myself just yet, but I am gonna leave it half open in case I get a weird feeling I want to later. Now uh it's command needs to be repaired. I'm not gonna fucking do that. You know what I am gonna do is uh go to replicator and replicate some more shit. You know that'll make me happy is uh this door's fucking broken. It's gonna piss me off to repair it. Whatever. Duplicate self. There we go. That'll make me happy. Finally, I can have a friend. That'll make me happy. Oh! I'm. Fr oh, Jesus. There's a. Mi oh! Let's try that again. Hang on. I made a bunch of hazards doing that. Duplicate self again. Try it again. Make another one, but this time don't do it wrong, Frank. This time do it right. Make a clone. Come on. What am I doing? Do it. I command you to make a clone now. I would need hundreds of parts. Make the clone now. Something went wrong. Good. No, no, don't, no, 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 don't clean it. Don't. We like it dirty. We like it nasty. Duplicate. Keep duplicating the parts. Don't dispose. God damn, Frank's mad. Okay. Load schematics. Uh, consensus protocols correct custodian misbehavior through an action voting mechanism increases reliability by 25%. Circuit breaker. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I should install this. So I don't have a psychotic breakdown, but it would actually make me more psychotic. Hmm. I can get away with making the consensus protocol, which would boost my... If my character was reliable enough to start 
actually making it properly. There we go. We'll start making consensus protocols. That sounds nice. Uh, let's see. I'm so, I need, I really want to sabotage the system, guys. I really want to fucking do that, which is why I'm going to destroy navigation. After I listen to the radio. That's pretty good. Yeah, who fucking cares? Yeah, who, ca who cares about any of that? Uh, reverse course. I'm turning this ship around! It's going too fast. Okay, fine. Then I'm sabotaging it. I'm turning the engine to the car off. Yeah, I feel better now. I'm going to sleep. Do not bother me. Good night. All right, uh, I feel like I'm about to power down, but distressed. There's something following the ship. There is little hope the passengers will make it, and major failures are detected in numerous sections of the ship. What? Go to sleep. That's a tomorrow, Frank, problem. Good night. All right. Beautiful day today. Okay. The tragic loss of life you have experienced recently has not gone unnoticed by your empathy circuits. Huh? You can't reassemble the dead, but you can make sure no one else is lost on your watch. You are filled with resolve to keep the pods intact. I will save all that remain. What? No, I don't. That's a temporary setback. I don't. Why the hell would I want to save them? Fuck them. The trash isn't getting any better. There's still piles of it in command, and it's getting to the point where you must deal with it. It's getting caught in your treads, which is more irritating than the trash itself. The ship is still telling you to clean it, even though you've made very obvious that this isn't something that you should have to deal with. If you had what the humans called an olfactory sense, you would likely be displeased with the smell around you. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Ignore it! Take one waste piece out every time you visit command. I will ex I'll die. I'm ignoring it. Does the ship really think that you look like a trash can? You're not a waste receptacle. You're not a trash robot. Your job is to keep the heat moving, not pretty. You move through the trash, letting your natural motion discard any trash that gets stuck on your treads. The ship pings at you to do something about the streaks of debris. You actively ignore the request. Does the ship really think you look like a trash can? You're not a waste receptacle. I ignore it. I'm angry. Disaster! Your most recent activation was met with a hardware failure. Not yours, nor the ship in particular, but the archival log printer. A long, a loud screeching noise was followed by a mass of paper falling off the tracks and getting partially shredded by the feed mechanism. You rushed to stop it from continuing to tear up the precious log paper, and after a few minutes of carefully pulling out the perforated edges, the situation is at least contained. You have a problem, however. The log printer is considered mission critical. Though all logs are stored digitally within the ship's memory core, the ship protocols require an analog copy to be permanently stored. How should you deal with this? Fuck. This. Crap. No, that would psychosis me. This vital system deserves care. Begin off by one story arc. I'm gonna have to fix this. <laughs> so you're telling me my plotline for this campaign is that the fucking printer's jammed. You're telling me I have a life-threatening printer jam. No wonder Frank is mad. Fuck. The printer attached to the underside of the command module's console is a relic from a former era. Just looking at it makes you feel older. As if a thing... As if such a thing were possible. Still, the arduous task of repairing it is in front of you. Age does have some benefit. It is mechanically simple, and thus you have a variety of repair methods to choose from. Carefully dismantle it, inspect, and reassemble. This will work, but will take quite a while. Immediately end turn. <laughs> what do we got here? Leaks? Who fucking cares? Uh, that'd be fatigue boost and minus three machine parts, or inspect it and repair it now and boost the time. Just fucking fix it right now, whatever. The machine parts produced by a replicator are too advanced and too precious to waste on this thing. Taking it apart is a slow process, especially as you have no replacement parts, but eventually you're able to pull it off. You can't quite tell what the specific cause was as so many parts were worn out, but with some ad hoc modifications increase, you get it functional again. 
Okay. Good night. Ah, beautiful day today. Repair all damaged systems. Everything's fine. How's my stress doing? None. Only one day of only one day of stuff, huh? Okay. The great nothing. The void is close on the heels of the ship and there's little you can do to stop it. It seems every day that goes by you're getting further and further behind, but that stops now. You'll kick some life into the engine. Get out of this mess. Automatically, engines are automatically repaired and overclocked at the end of this turn and start of the next for two turns. You may take this option only once. Let's take it. Your itinerary for this cycle is lengthy and potentially burdensome. There's never truly a moment when you can say all the work is done, but some cycles are certainly harder than others. You could use a little boost. Cozy up to the reactor and warm your cold metal. Stay in your charging station a little longer. However you pull it off, you have the opportunity to have the weight of your burdens lifted for a bit. Uh, I'm good. The ship is getting in your way lately. A lot. Too much to do, and yet the ship itself is an obstacle. A floating rust bucket riddled with flaws. In constant need of repair and no way to punish it for its misdeeds. True. You find yourself having little fits of anger at the prospect. None of which are threatening vital systems, but which are making it difficult for you to control your own servos. The last time you opened a door, you forced it so deep into the hull it became stuck. And yet, that made you feel a little bit better. Affected by Portal Peak, all doors you use have a 25% chance to become stuck open for five turns. Good! A texting patience. There's an odd error in one of the systems governing the ship's cargo. Astoundingly, it's also causing critical systems to seize up. You can't work systems that are halting, so you have to do a diagnostic on the system. The integrity check is failing on one text file, which causes the cargo system to reboot. The metadata says it has not changed for dozens upon dozens of cycles. It is a confusing mess of punctuation that appears to be making an oblong, textured oval of some kind. One thing is for sure. Something is not right with this oval, and it's breaking everything. Why is there an oval? Why is this making you freaking asty ovals? Don't do anything! Damage it! Damage it! Delete the file! There's no way this text file is actually important. I've got an ASCII penis on my goddamn screen. It's seriously a strange oval made up of punctuation. You know what configuration files look like. You know what checksum files are. This isn't either of those things. It's just yet another stupid oversight on a ship bursting with them. And now that oversight is causing you problems. Fine, you delete the file. The cargo handling routine seizes up completely and stubbornly slams its storage away arrays, looking for its treasured ASCII oval. It throws such a temper tantrum that you distantly hear one of the dependent systems melt down before it finally shuts down to sulk. Fuck you! Disaster! <laughs> Come on! Let me walk around the ship! After several cycles of toxic xenon fuel left to idle on the ship's floors, the vapors have permeated the ship and left it dangerously irradiated. It will take several cycles for the ship's air filtration to catch the particles and return things to normal. Who cares? Let it be irradiated. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this self-reflection arc was the worst thing I ever did to myself. <laughs> trash. It's never-ending cycle. You do anything and trash happens. Fix a cryopod, trash. Replace a wire, trash. Break something that's bothering you, extra trash. The ship's pings are auditory, trash. The buzz of the lights is auditory, trash. This entire ship itself is a heaping pile of trash, with you as the sole bit of useful metal in the whole rickety dumpster. You've got to make a choice about this now, whether you really want to or not. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, hang up the phone! Fuck you! I'm never fixing this. The airlock is closer. Doing nothing is always an option. Tomatoes self unimprovement arc. Guys, it's the Frank classic, guys. I'm trying to keep my stress down so I can fucking repair the ship once I'm free of this. 
I, if I take all this stress on right now, I'm gonna be fucked. I'm not doing it. Well, the ship should know who to look to. Someone else. Damn right. The ship can whip up a sweeper bot or a cleaner droid, whatever. If the ship wanted to classify humans as trash, that'd be one thing. But it won those arguments. You'll win this one. Even if you have to slalom to get a few places, to get to a few places. It's way less hassle than cleaning the trash up. I'm never cleaning this place. I'd rather die than clean this place. All right. I'm installing the consensus protocols. You make myself more reliable. All right, a million, I have 15 tasks. How bad could it be? Power on engine. The engines are off. <laughs> Fuck. Thought those things were supposed to be on. What the hell's going on? Why the hell are the, why the hell are the engines off? What is this? I broke the door, who cares? Consume coolant. I'm hungry. I'll eat some of that. A routine inspection of the cryopods revealed something horrible. A dangerous bacterial infection has spread that is somehow eluding the life support systems. Though the console insists all occupants are healthy and... Botiformis... Meningitis is not a real disease. You know they are sick. And only you can cure them. Be mindful of overdosing. Well, I'm gonna have to pour sulfuric acid into the tanks. That's the only cure. Affected by factitious disorder, you may inoculate passengers to lose 20 stress with a 5% chance of killing them for 8 turns. Be careful not to overdose. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna save you as soon as I've consumed the coolant again. Wait, no. Uh, power it on. I think we'll be fine. Guys, everything's fine. Uh, check. We are good on that one. I need to get my psychosis down, guys, or I'm gonna shut down. I'm worried about that. I don't feel so good, guys. Uh, navigation needs to be repaired, or I don't know where I am. Oh my god, look at all these spills. I just broke the door. Who fucking cares? Repair this. It's tiring, but I have to do it. Good. Turn it on. It's not enough power. Well, whose fault is that then? Move! Slash me breaks every door. <laughs> Smashes through every door on the ship. <sighs> All doors of a random type will be removed from the game. Okay, that's a fun little modifier. I'm just gonna fucking break this. Sabotage it. If it's using so much power, turn it off forever. Boom! Open the window! Interstellar dust presence makes the window too dangerous to open right now. Pry it open! Open it! <laughs> open. Open navigation. Turn it on. Chat, we are behind quota. <laughs> Chat, that thing at the top is telling me we are way behind. Now, here's some things I can do to help with that. Oh, boys. Who wants to get... Who wants to get inoculated with a... Oh, actually, my stress is pretty good. I'm actually okay. You guys are gonna be fine. Look, I've got some busted up doors everywhere. And where the fuck is the incinerator? I have to get that taken care of. Look, my mission statements are very obvious. Where the hell is the incinerator? I don't know where that is. I don't have any way to unlock most of these doors. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep, actually, guys, because I'm tired. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna uh, end my turn. We're fine, everything's fine. We're on the sh we're on path. The engines are on. Nav is on, good night. We're gonna be fine. Okay, good morning, everyone. Six passengers still alive. Frank is uh, feeling good. 
Cycle 10. Your itinerary for this cycle is lengthy and potentially burdensome. Uh, there's never truly a moment you can say all is done. I'm gonna take the uh, minus 25, 75% fatigue gain and actually try to catch up. Five motor skills have proven especially troubling today. Cleaning your gears resulted in deep scratches on some of them. You tripped over yourself when adjusting a cargo railing. Maybe it's all the trash all over the ground. A query for, of your gyro shows it is functioning normally. The problem, it seems, is your kinetic motivator. It's in a hurry, but it's also not in a hurry. It has a tremendous amount of energy, but nothing useful to do with it. Is this what humans might call being frantic? I can't seem to stop dancing. Affected by nervous energy. Speed fluctuates wildly and repairs have a 25% chance of failure for three turns. I'll be fine. Disaster. Fuck. After several cycles of unabated corrosion caused by water leaks and the custodian failed to clean up, a section of overhead railing has come crashing down. A rusty tangle of metal has completely blocked your passage as a result, and it will take significant effort to clean up. Whatever. Who cares? Disaster! <laughs> After several cycles of unabated corrosion caused by water leaks, there's been another one. Who cares? Screech! The printer comes to a grinding halt again. Of course it does! Good! Good! I'm glad. I was worried it wouldn't. I was fucking worried it wouldn't. Jesus. Okay. Uh, investigate stray debris uh, is a safety hazard. Scree! Okay. Uh, we're going to fix this. Sorry, just reading a DM. Uh... Yeah, papers being spilled all over the floor. You consult your memory bank and look through your repair. A record verifies the paper was inserted into the feed mechanism correctly and validated via test print. You did not make a mistake, yet clearly the paper here was inserted incorrectly, and there's something else. The position of misalignment is torn. There's a piece of paper missing. What? Investigate. Stray debris is a safety hazard. <sighs> And the kitchen sink part four, empire of dirt. You start another cycle in this rust bucket of a ship gazing out upon a vista of broken perks, mechanical sludge, and a particularly interesting bone you salvage from a broken pod. The ship doesn't even ping you to clean it up at this point. It's in the way. It, it's in the way. It probably is causing air pollution, but you simply don't care. It was about time the ship stopped making you think about things that aren't your job. Honestly, Nothing on the ship is your job. That's a fantastic feeling. I will let you down. I'll let you down, guys. As if the ship itself degrades, parts of its memory banks have succumbed to corruption. Eventually, self-correcting routines should kick in to repair the issue, but it likely will be long after the current version of you has expired. Permanently applied decaying ship six. Navigation no longer detects hazards. Who cares? I never cared about them anyways. Just turn off those dots. Just turn off the dots. It pisses me the fuck off. Okay. Okay, I got- I'm- dude, Frank is frantic right now. This is bad. Uh, okay. Uh, repair engine, observation, and command. The only thing I care about repairing is the engine. Look, I- I've got the psychosis, guys. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Repair it. It's fine. There's no way I fail. I did it. Easy. Feel great. Uh, stuck door and reactor. We never repair doors. Uh, we also never uh, unwedge stuff. I will repair command. Is what I would say if I was going to do that. What I am. I broke another fucking door. You know what? Break every door. Break all of them. That's a fun thing to do. Open and close them until they break completely. Uh, I'm gonna repair this. And then I'm gonna gaze. Open the window. Gaze, we earned this. I'm gonna ask for another self-improvement so I can let the ship down again. Fuck, I don't get a second one. I gaze. Gargantua. Okay, I see some, uh, okay, so the reactor broke. 
Uh, the ship experiences a power surge. All systems are randomly overclocked or locked for one turn. Who cares? I don't remember caring about that. All right, I got to investigate Cryo and uh, tragically kill all the passengers. Do you guys mind if I do that quick? Hey, guys. Hey, -o. How are you all doing? Uh, okay, so who's going to be the lucky bastard today? Dude. Daphne Cook. It'd make me really happy to freaking put you down. Look, it's gonna be good for my stress if I inoculate you with sulfuric acid, Daphne. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. They're cared! I saved you. I saved you, Daphne. You're welcome. I'm gonna dismantle, hang on, can I? No, they're like flushed, but I can't dismantle it. I broke the door, no, another broken door. No, what did I, what did I do? Clean disaster and engine, how bad could this disaster even be? What, where, pray tell, is this disaster? Oh, this? Now we can clean that. Wait, do I even need, wait a minute. These block the way, but who cares about them? Leave them. L leave that one there. Where's the navigation one? If these are in places that I don't care about, why the fuck would I do anything about it? No, no, don't do anything about that. These things are all things that can be left alone. You know, just close this. Why? Well, I don't need to take this path. There's another path. I don't. I don't care about that. Destroy this. Ugh! I'm gonna fucking manufacture something. That's fun. I broke the door. Shame. Shame. I broke another one. It's locked. Duplicate self. Make a clone. 16 tasks hidden. Dude, I, me seeing Discord notifications, ignoring them, pissing all over the floor of the freaking uh, duplication bay. I see, Frank. Very good. I have to clean one of these or I can't access the fucking thing. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Load schematics. It's locked. I forgot it's locked now. God damn. All right, I'm going to sleep, guys. Good night. Beep, beep. Ah, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What's that, 26 tasks hidden? Mmm. Repair system cryo. Make me. How about you fucking make me? All right, repaired. Just the way you like it. Repair system command, I don't think I'll be doing that. Everything else here is totally fine. I have to uninstall my legs. Yeah, I don't know what that sound is. Uh, which is why I'm gonna ignore it. I'm actually gonna close that again. A lot of piss on the ground here. I'm only cleaning this up so I don't have this thing block the reactor or the, the schematic stuff. Uh, let's see here. Circuit breaker. Yeah, I want to build this. Well, it boosts my psychosis. Guys, my psychosis is fucked. Guess I could uninstall my memory core. That might make me happy. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go observe. The abyss again, you guys know how it is. Open the window. This'll make me happy. Gaze. Your senses detect some stuff. Plus one, plus two psychosis, plus two machine parts, and insanity. The lore of the observation window has become too much. Protocol forbids its usage, yet there is no actual code triggering a hard stop. The humans left a hole in your firmware just big enough for you to decide what you want to do. And right now, all you want to do is stare into the quiet dark. You need to stare into the quiet dark because the stars stare back. Okay, I'm going to have to gaze every day or I'm going to go insane. Who cares? Let's go to sleep. Good night. 
Good night. Ah, beautiful day. Beautiful day. The breakdown of your neural net is proceeding at a rapid pace. Okay. You're quickly on track to a total shutdown. Yeah, I don't feel good, but it's not too late. With a quick ad hoc modification of your code, you could buy yourself some time. Yeah, turn off insanity. Let me meditate. Oh, fuck. Emergent functionality. You get a ping from the ship. The alert itself is meaningless. A routine notification of some trivial subsystems activity. What's interesting is that the ping plays in your head with a very different kind of tone than usual. You dig into the alert and find a whole array of different alerting noises. On some level, you know it is a trivially tiny thing, but it doesn't stop your excitement at finding out something new about yourself. Your core hums quietly as you consider what to do with this knowledge. Uh, let's see here. At the beginning of the next three turns, plus 20 fatigue, minus 5 stress. Reconfigure everything. Uh, see if silent is an option. That's the spirit. Now nah, we're gonna change a few to reduce my stress. You change some alerts at the company confirmations of job completion. They're tiny changes, only higher pitched trills, but you come to associate them with a satisfying rush of a task well done. You actually catch yourself going above and beyond just to be rewarded with the trill of victory. Sure, you're, you're tossing a little more energy into the problem than you really need to, but it feels good. Wow, I got a new memory. Guys, we died today. If we get one more psychosis, we die. My guy is fucking miserable. But I have a plan. Why is this not opening? The basic door breaker is fucked. This one. Close it. Boom. Hang on, I gotta go to I gotta go to the freaking cryo bay and turn one of the aquariums into an aquarium. I mean one of the pods into an aquarium. Uh, if I do any of these, I'm gonna get the psychosis, so, um, yeah, can't do anything. I am going to, I'm going to overclock the engines. That is what we will do. Overclock zero percent. Are you true? Are you, are you sure? There's a dust cloud. Well, I didn't check outside to check that, so how the fuck would I know? Why am I, why am I not being told these things? Slash me forgets that he fucking deliberately broke anything that would warn him about the freaking dust clouds hours ago. I open the window. I overclock the window. Frank's mission has come to an abrupt end. For the best, it would seem, as your total inability to cope with the role of custodian has left your higher function circuitry completely wrecked. Your CPUs frequently return data that isn't just wrong, but defies all logic. Two? What is two? There's no such thing as two. But that's what your processor determined as the result of one plus one. Mere moments before core dump leaves you a quivering wreck, you hear the replicator begin building something. Something big. Something as big as you, perhaps. The clone. I should have burned the ship down when I had the chance. Ah, uh, let's see. Plus 36 points from spare parts, minus 100 from psychosis, and I got a final score of minus 102. Impressive. Not bad. So apparently, people were saying I was actually, uh, like, Katie messaged me. Uh, I may have been on the wrong campaign from the start. Uh... I'm not sure how to make sure that doesn't happen on the next run, is all. But uh, I will... I can pick the campaign after that one instead. But we are going to try Annie this time. They look like they're going to have fun. Annie struggles with rampancy, starting with a permanent insanity and potentially gaining more... Annie loses stress each turn from insanities and psychosis, but gains psychosis for any excess stress. Annie cannot install the ECC module, can use observation to shuffle temporary insanities, and is challenging to play. Be careful.
How about we do uh the we just had a math problem one. How about we pick um our act two, arc three, the underworks. Well actually this is act two arc one was you explore an ancient machine. I assumed the ancient machine was the printer, because act one arc two is a mysterious note. I think I was on the one I meant to be on. I think I was on the correct thing. Huh. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Because Act 1, Arc 2 is... But we'll do Act 2, Arc 2. We're fine. We'll try this one. Or we try this one. Stop button problem. Miss jump. The consequences of a minor rounding error come back to haunt you. The under. We'll do the underworks. Simple mathematics tell a terrible tale. Well, chat. The good news is, having not done any of them, it doesn't matter which one I do. We got there. Uh, I have two cores I can pick. I unlocked some new ones. All doors of a random type will be removed from the game. Uh, well, that sounds like a funny thing. Hang on. Installing a module generates three psychosis. Yeah, but then I can pick more things. Mm -hmm. Navigation has 100% chance of avoiding EMP storms of overclock. I like hidden reserves and adorable. I like more doors being open. Let's navigate this fucking ship. All right, let's go. We'll play on normal. Because we're playing the hard character that's difficult to play. So we'll play on normal. Well, that's really in my face. Uh, okay. Here we are. A new, a recent batch of corrupted imaging data has somehow made its way into your optical processing code cache. This is completely throwing off your object recognition code, causing you to see doors all over the place, in empty rooms, on the ceiling, behind you, on top of other doors. The doors look perfectly real. But, you know, they can't be real, can they? I can practice my door-to-door -door marketing. Minus 50 stress, plus one psychosis. Permanently affected by adversarial input. Illusionary doors appear everywhere. Using illusionary doors generates fatigue for 2,000 turns. Mother of God. Many doors on this ship, chat. Many, many doors. Yup. It's good. Let me go ahead and install my heat recyclers. All I have to do today is, uh... Oh, good news is I don't have to open any of these. That's good. These are fake doors. None of these, uh, none of these ones is real. Lots of doors. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Well, good news is I can clear out some of these doors by clicking on them. Come get these things the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Hang on. All right. Get out of here. Get lost. That one can stay. All right, I'm gonna open the window and get to work staring at the void. I have to ignore the doors. There's nothing I can do about the doors. Oh, gaze into the darkness. Hey. With the shutter disengaged, a thick sheet of glass is now all that separates you from the void. Gaze into it. You detect faint traces of radiation in the visible spectrum. While processing this outcome, your CPU is forced to reboot due, due to errors. To compensate, you temporarily pause processing. Wait for your cast to flush and retry. Well, that was a waste of my fucking time. Freaking doors. The subroutine provides rolling override codes to ship systems, allowing you to bypass the system lock once per turn at the cost of glitching the system and open locked doors. There's just a lot of doors, guys. It's gonna use a lot of stamina, but um, 
I'm gonna start mashing E and cleaning up some of these doors in the uh, passageways that matter. Unlock door. Administration. We've uh never been this far into the ship before. Maybe we take it easy. I'm gonna dismantle some of these machines in here though. Why would we need anything in administration? I'm gonna t I'm gonna search some lockers. See if there's anything in any of this stuff, and then we'll go to sleep. Perfect. Nothing of interest in any of the lockers. The green zone, that's security. We don't go over there. Let's get out of here. Come on, chat. Best thing we can do with the rest of our time is ignore all these doors and go to sleep. End turn. I said end turn. Good night. Ah, what have we got today on the documentation? Reactor damage avoided. That's good. Manufacturing completely made two parts. Uh, what's up today? What's on my list? Repair stuck door in reactor. Which one? Which one? Many doors in this place. Is it this one? Repair it. Got it. Let's clean up some of these. Oh my god, the reactor is all doors. Leave that as is. No, that's fine. Slowly, we will clear out these doors. Oh, the engine's all doors, guys. Guys! <laughs> engine's all doors! Hang on, I'm gonna check the, uh, cryo bay. Mostly doors. Who are these people? A. Rogers, customer service representative. We have a fitness trainer. We have a interpreter. Lion Tamer. Referee. Automotive Mechanic. Surveyor. Computer Programmer. Environmental Scientist. And Janitor. Hang on, I'm gonna unlock this door. I'm opening this. Open up! Another computer in here. I don't know what I can do with this thing. But it's in here. And now I know. I'm gonna search some of the lockers and then we're going to sleep. Last thing I'm gonna do is open the freaking door and gaze the way I always do. I love gazing. Come on, chat. Let's gaze. Shuffle insanity. No, just open the window. And then we're gonna gaze. Gaze. Gaze into the endless dark. I feel refreshed. My stress is down. I haven't had any stress, dude. I'm actually... Annie's going great so far. Clear out some more doors. I'm gonna dismantle this and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Teeny, teeny, tiny bit of stress. Let's go to sleep. End turn. Did I just see more doors get made? Oh no! I just cleaned up the doors! Wake up, Annie. There's a problem. Wake up! As you awaken, the normal ship diagnostics come through just like any other cycle. Seeing the progress you have made, usually gives you a nanosecond of satisfaction. It's an undeniable indicator that you are doing your job well. And one day you will arrive to the promised land with your passengers. However, this cycle, you process it slightly different. You wonder idly what will happen after you arrive. What happens to the cycle after? If you don't know already, it's not important, Annie. Keep all systems online. Ensure passenger safety. Do not engage in independent thought, MC419. You can do that. You must do that. 
The mission protocols are right. They must be right. You hope they're right. Are they right? Yeah. Where's the door? Stuck door in command. Where, pray tell, is that? I gotta repair this breaker first. Which one of you fuckers is stuck? I got it on my map. Here it is. Repair that. Boom. Okay, so... I'm going to overclock the engines. Which I think will make us travel faster. I want to speed up this journey. I'm going to overclock the engines. Boom. We're going a little faster now. I want to start getting ahead of the trip. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is ignore all the doors. We are going to go gaze into the abyss as we as we do, as we want to do. What the? I just one there was a real door here. Oh well. Uh, open the window. I miss having 28 incompletable tasks. <laughs> yeah, Frank was a different kind of game, huh? With the shutter disengaged, you gaze. Your senses detect a minute amount of x-rays. I feel good. Dude, stuff's going well for Annie. Okay, let's get some more stuff done. We have time. I'm gonna dismantle some of these uh, PCs. Get some more machine parts. Then I'll go to sleep. Yep, dismantle all these, let's go to sleep. We'll manufacture something tomorrow when I have energy. If something else doesn't go wrong. Good night. Frank was doomed to kill. Frank was fucked. Another beautiful day. What do we have here? Grounding failure. Okay. 75% chance to power off another system if you... Okay. If you repair, sabotage, toggle power, overclock this system. But I have to repair it. Well, it's just going to power it off. Either way, let's repair the engine first. That one has to be repaired. Good God, they really put a lot of doors in this hallway. Mother of God. Hundreds of thousands of doors. Repaired. Engines are good. Are you still overclocked? I don't know if that fucked the overclock. I hope it didn't. Anyways, let's go to the manufacturer and repair it. I don't care if the game says it's not going to work. Repair. Maybe it's only 75% chance. Yeah, nothing even broke. I'm going to build the, let's see here, kinetic module. Force open doors and fix stubborn breakers. If there's one thing I know about the doors, it's that there's too many doors. And maybe if I do this, I could have more. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's leave it for now. Save my machine parts. But what I am going to do is open this locked door. Oh! What's in these? Machine parts. Machine parts. Huge. Chat, we are slowly going to access the rooms of this game that were once inaccessible. We will sift through the many doors. What is in this room? <laughs> Oh, what is this? What? Underworks. What? How did I? Oh, shit. In the place beneath the ship now. Everything's locked. Where the fuck am I? I, I I shouldn't be here. Chad, we are. We shouldn't be in this place, I don't think. I think we need to... We need to go. Let's just get back out of here. What's in... It's locked. Let's just get... 
This probably takes us back to the back home. Right? This doesn't This doesn't go anywhere. It's just Why is system command off? Did I accidentally turn it off by opening that thing? Go to go to sleep, Annie. One of the pods is broken. Why am I not surprised? We should go and fix it. We can fix the breakers afterwards. Thank God that door was open automatically for me. Which one of you pods is fucked? This one? Repair it. Who is this anyways? Landon called the lion tamer. Or I could dump you into space. Just repair it. Alright. I'm gonna search some of these lockers. Good. Everything's good. Good day today, Chad. I think, uh, I think stuff's gonna be okay. I'm gonna repair the security breaker door. And then... Let's gaze. Remember, most of these doors ain't real. Open the window. Oh, open the window. Gaze. Minus 40 fatigue. Dude, Annie is OP, dude. I'm having a great time. Holy shit. If it wasn't for the doors, things would be perfect. Let's dismantle more PCs. Boom. Boom. Bada bing. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go overclock the fucking reactor now. Or the engines. Yep, I'm thinking it's overclock the engines now. Beep, beep, boop. Overclock it. Three cycles that's gonna last. Not bad. We're gonna finally start overtaking the race. This could be it. I'm going to sleep. Enter. Everything's great. I wake up, everything's not great. You wake up with a crackling jolt. Huh? Your startup sequence is plagued with alerts of cascading failures over your tertiary systems. Blown circuit boards, fried capacitors, and failing couplers abound. Your eyes are slow to come online. As, you are so, as your self-awareness routines... Uh, as are your self-awareness routines. When they do, you find yourself prone, staring at the floor. That's when the acrid scent of your own melting dermal material registers on your olfactory sensor. With many false starts, you flip onto your back. Long, narrow strips of carbon run from your wrists to your elbow. Your charging ports are ruined. You stare at the rest, at your rest station in confusion and hurt. At least your surge protection worked. Otherwise, you'd definitely have cooked in your cradle. Just get back to work. Someone trying to kill you. Find out why. Someone just tried to kill you. Find out who! Colton! Colton Mora, you piece of shit! Colton, Colton, Colton. Guys, it's okay. I actually have like no stress. I can handle. I can handle this. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna. We're gonna pump our stress up. We can de stress. We have the machine parts for it. We're gonna just ignore it. It. Thick mist rises from every seam in your shell as you rise. You cannot feel pain, but you feel the poignant loss and deep tragedy of so much capability going up in oily smoke. Your diagnostics blare problem after problem after problem. You eventually stop acknowledging the alerts. They're simply too depressing. You raid the spare parts closet. Almost automatically, you are repairing individual parts of your body, chipping off carbonized components and clicking in new ones. You're working on yourself for almost an hour before you dare look at your diagnostics again, and it's still seemingly endless. Not even your cradle is safe. What a universe. It's fine. Accidents happen in the door dimension. Clean the sludge. Have to fix the breaker. 
Guys, accidents happen. I have to repair freaking observation skill. Go check Colton. Oh, we'll check Colton after I've opened the window. I mean, after I've repaired the observation bay and then taken a look around. I don't know why I leave that shit powered on. Wait, what's wrong with this section? What's up? Power on. Why is this not on? It's disabled. Why? Oh, it's a bad weather day. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go check on Colton. Colton. Colon. Nah, that's Colin. The fuck is Colton? Mora Colton. Surveyor. No response. Why are you faking it? Colton, we both know you awake in there. Why are you acting like you ain't? I know you is awake. You've been acting real silly, Colton. I'm gonna load schematics. I... I'm going to get the circuit breaker. Load it up. We're gonna make that. That'll help my character if I have a psychotic break later. You know how bad that is for me. I'm going to sleep now. Power off. Wait, no, 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 no. Go to, not power off. Power off me. Go to sleep. Ten passengers still alive. Shields in observation are fun. But everything else is great. Stuck loop. What does that mean? A runaway idle routine is causing all actions in the system to take five seconds longer than normal. On what? The, um... But whatever, let's start repairing. Turn on. Oh, that's taking a while, yeah. That's gonna take a little bit. Powered on. Okay. Let's go get the shields. Dude, why am I still behind quota despite turning on the fucking engines to go faster and overclocking them every day? How, explain that one to me. Repairing. Someone explain to me how I've done everything perfect and incredibly, and yet I'm still only barely making quota. Repair. I'm gonna consult the endless abyss. Race condition. Even a perfect machine can make mistakes, so it seems as some of the parts you used to repair had defects in them and you didn't catch what you pulled them from the replicator. Uh, the repair is a failure as a result. Uh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Um, what? Well, God damn it, repair it again. Piece of shit. Open window. What a world. What a horrible world. I gaze. I detect nothing and I trigger... Wait. You detect absolutely nothing, not even the x-ray spectrum. After processing this, your motion circuitry is rerouted due to excess heat. Because of this, you suspend the anal analysis altogether. In one turn, trigger an extra random event. Extra random! Guys, stuff's about to get silly, guys. We need to watch out. Things are about to get freaking crazy. I'm gonna install my new system. Oh, it goes into the circuit breaker section. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll swap to that when it looks like I'm about to die. Yep. That's like a backup thing. That goes into our torso when it looks like I'm about to have a psychotic break. Uh, wait, leave. I'm gonna go dismantle a couple more things in the zone that we opened recently that we weren't legally supposed to be in, but we did anyways. Yes. How about we go into security? Wonder what they were even doing in this place. Why does this place even need security? You know what I mean? Nothing of interest in any of these. Who are they secure in this place from? Guys?
can afford one more. Who the hell were they securing this place from? Uh, they, it don't matter. Let's just get out of here. Come on. We're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow is gonna be a good day. Right? In turn, go to sleep. Oh, yes. Do robots dream of recursive sleep? You spend an entire activity cycle performing repairs as one system fails after another in a cascade. First, command reported everything was just fine, but then the shields went down. A stray micrometeor impact damaged the observation deck, and the fabricator decided it's simply not willing to work this cycle and shut itself down to sulk. You're just starting to open up the fabricator when your full shutdown cycle ends. With a jolt, you find yourself sitting in your recharging cradle. There's no indication of the cascade failures. You feel an indescribable weight bearing down on your core. Damage shields and observation. Disable fabricator for one turn. Recurse with random input. Damage shields recurse with same input. You order the command computer to run a full system scan rather than its usual casual diagnostic. As you intuited, something is wrong. The main power relay controlling the shields is only getting a trickle of power. The self-diagnostics are in a fail state and reporting they're A-OK -okay when they're really not. The problem should be easily fixable from the main shields terminal, but a problem with the relay could easily lead to a failure cascade. You're pleased you caught this problem early. Large sections of the ship have until recently been out of bounds for you. Not for any, not for any particular reason, except that you had no way to open the security doors. Your override protocols offer a way around that in a way that is reasonably safe and only mildly stressful. Most of these areas have been unused for decades, centuries, perhaps longer. But you could shed much light on exactly how many humans the ship was intended to support and how big it truly is. Time to explore. Already did, dude. I just have to walk back to them. Already beat, beat you to it. What's wrong with me? Why am I... S okay, there we go. Fix all these breakers. I damaged it. Why? Close the breakers. Why are all these breakers open? Close these. Fix the breakers. Good. Repair pod one. That needs to happen next. Let's go fix the pod. I don't know who this is. Sutton K. Lucky day for you, dude, that I got the hardware to fix that. Shields needs to be repaired, and so does navigation still. And then we can do some basic exploring of the area around us, Chet. Come on. Repair. Feeling great. I still have enough energy to do shields. That's fine. That's good. Perfect. Everything's okay, guys. Let's go and explore. We gotta go explore, guys. We have a freaking quest for that. Nope. Don't open it that way. Here we are. Something bad happened in administration. Scattered papers cover the floor, some with treads like logs, and others carrying signs of biological contamination. These were papers handled by humans, and there are literally thousands of them haphazardly strewn across the room. Processing these papers would be monumentally slow, given your actuators were never designed to handle single sheets of paper. Still, these papers have records, logs, notes. Humans made these records. You could try to read them, you could try to process them, you could try and sort them. Sort every single page. Sort every single one. Page by page, you sort the mess. Bucketizing papers into logs, personal personnel records, and communications. The encodings of human language are foreign to you. While some sigils have a reference, you understand. Your linguistic protocols cannot truly grasp their words. 
All you can do is search metadata, such as dates and ID fields. What you find in the metadata is stunning. Several hundred names are present, along with personnel IDs ranging from 0 to 68,377. Disturbingly, of the human names you identified, none match your passenger manifest or manifests of previous custodians inside your memory core. The logic unit powering your ship sensors is on the fritz, it would seem, it is receiving ship data, but the processing of it is failing in unexpected ways when you attempt to query your current stress level. It returns a picture of a farm animal. When you ask it how many replacement parts you have left in stock, it returns a puzzle asking you to identify a series of wheeled transportation vehicles among a collection of unrelated images. Strange. It was pretty much useless to begin with. Fuck this thing. You permanently are affected by data feed failure. Your HUD is scrambled and useless for 2,000 turns. Fuck this. I don't need this. Security. Guys, it's fine. We can fix it when we go to freaking, uh... When we go to the freaking observation deck, which we're going to do right now to fix it. Game over? Chat, it's not game over. I'm literally about to randomize it and get something new that's better. And I'll get rid of the doors, too. It's about to happen. We're just going to stare into the void and fix it. Come on. Shuffle insanities. Round and round my CPU goes. I don't have any insanities I can shuffle right now. What? Huh? I'm gonna need to observe. Guys, it's fine. We'll fucking solve this with feeling. Guys. We're gonna solve this big old mess of ours with feeling. But I am assuming I did everything. End turn. I said end turn. Go to sleep. We're gonna solve this with feeling. Good morning. Okay, 10 pass. We can still review the maintenance log here, guys. Uh, pods damage, repair the pods. Emergency shutdown triggered on nav because we have gravitational anomalies. Everything, stuff's just shut down, everything's fine. Everything feels slow. You do a self-awareness check, pinging all limbs and sensors. You confirm that overall response is a bit slower than expected. There's no reason for everything to have a uniform slowdown. You spend a frustratingly long time going over every system until you are forced to confront an ugly possibility. Your positronic computing core. This self-contained processing mainframe holds your mechanical consciousness and therefore cannot objectively test itself. If it's slow, you're tired. How can that be? Uh, let's see here. Try to rest it off. We'd lose a passenger if we did that. Nope. Introspect human reflexes to speed up. I'd have to uh, kill Anderson Rogers for that one. Or I'd do nothing. Gain free repair. Damage random system. Do that one. Overclock my core. Well, there's a simple solution to being slow as a robot. Just go faster. A little more power and your clock speed will go up as well. Even better, it's actually not that hard to accomplish this. It's dangerous, but not hard. There's a capacitor that regulates the power intake of your core from your batteries. All you need to do is splice one of the one of a slightly higher voltage in and boom your core even has an emergency backup battery for situations like this It's almost like it's meant to be and True to form you're able to make the swap trivially easy. You even still have your old capacitor in your body. What could possibly go wrong? You've searched one room in your attempt to discover more about the true size of the ship and in doing so have made almost no progress whether or not you can whether or not you continue the search, as exhausting as it may be, or end your efforts now and see what you discovered is up to you. I'm gonna continue searching, what are you kidding me? I have a bunch of shit to do today. Guys, we have... ...to do today. And by God, I'm gonna get it done. Is it one of these pods fucked? Oh, the entire place is fucked. I'm gonna repair that. Boom. Fixed. 
I have no idea how many repair things I have. That's scary. Power on? It's disabled. Then stop telling me about it. Then, uh, shut the fuck up then. That seems to be the only real problem there is. What's this? Okay. Guys? I wish I could tell you how close we were to the end of the game, but uh, it's all right now. So uh, I'm gonna check out up here. Security appears heavily damaged. The consoles are all entirely destroyed. Exposed wiring presents a safety hazard, though your sensors indicate they are not live. The function of this room is unclear to you as security services for a small number of awake humans seems excessive. The damaged consoles are receiving power, however. If you repair them, you might be able to glean some knowledge from them, perhaps even data about the security of the ship. But that would consume precious spare parts to do so. The choice is yours. Who cares? Fix it. There could be records on those consoles. Sure. Is that all I can do today? I mean, this is more security. That said, I'm gonna dismantle these and search these. Get some more spare parts. We're gonna need them, considering I am Really not gonna be able to tell how fucked I am going forward. God, there's a lot of doors. Why did I pick the door insanity, guys? Why didn't someone stop me? I, I don't know why no one tried to stop me. I got doors, I have fucked GUI. I am, I am screwed. I'm all messed up. And this doesn't turn on, right, because of the... Yep. There is a storm or something outside. Alright, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's see here. Dust evasion engaged. Okay. Uh, navigation's damaged. Storage full, one destroy- my- I actually am full on repair parts, that's crazy. Uh, cool. Wait, 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 wait. I want to continue searching, we're not done searching. Uh, engines are fucked. I'm going to go fix them. There's also a fucked breaker, let's fix that too. Or we just have to close it. Guys, my brain is freaking goo right now, this is crazy. I do not feel good. Repair it. No, repair it. That said, though, despite how insane I am, my psychosis is great. I just love being like this. This is just how I like to be. All right, it's not a problem. This is actually, it's a choice I'm consciously making to be this fucked up. Okay? Do not get confused. Shields, on. Is that a cryopod that's fucked? Oh my god. I almost didn't realize. Repair. Boom. Fixed. Dude, I'm doing such a good job out here. Holy crap, I'm doing great. Despite how fucked it is. I'm doing great. And power on. It's disabled still. Who cares then? Let's explore more of the ship. We have much more work to do. Dorms. The dorms appear to be human working and living spaces for a small number of humans. Based on your knowledge of human aggression protocols and oxygen consumption rates, a meager 3 to 30 humans could safely work in this place simultaneously. No wonder they created you to handle the details. There's one interesting thing to note. The charging cradles for humans differ from yours in that they are placed- They place the human in a supine position and are capable of adjusting their size constraints from 150 centimeters at the smallest to 200 centimeters at the largest. Significant, this is significantly smaller than you, but a much greater deviance than expected. They were small, yet they used their space inefficiently. Space. How strange. Can I explore more than one thing in a day? Can I, like, go over here? I'm gonna unlock this. Boom. Okay, I definitely can't explore more than one thing in a day, but I think that's two more spots to explore. The fools. They could have been all smooshed up together in the same little, little narrow spots. They could have fit way more people into this freaking bad boy. 
I go to sleep. I end my turn. Good night. Do not bother me again. Oh, breaker damaged. Uh, everything else is perfect. Cool. Continue searching. We continue. Wow, that's a lot of. <laughs> Okay, we got some spills. Clean that. Taken care of. One of the breakers is fucked. Let's fix that too. This one, replace it. Boom. All good. Wait. Did I fuck it up? I actually fucked it up. Boom. All good. <coughs> Hang on, we got more leaks. No, clean it. There. Turn this bad boy back on. We are back on the road again, chat. I said, we are back on the road again, chat. Let's roll. And nothing else needs to be done on the ship today. I'm gonna explore more. What is this place? This section is not the thing. Is this one? Why am I not exploring? Why is this place not part of the ship that I care about? Strange. What happened to the task manager? I lost my mind. Ah! The purpose of containment becomes clear almost immediately. What at first appears to be thawing pods turned out to be modified. Charging cradles, every single one of them a dozen or so, show heavy signs of use. Bot parts are loose in the chambers, holes in the deck plating suggest escape attempts and radiation. Enormous amounts of ionizing radiation are coming from within the chambers themselves. This is not a place you want to be. We're going to search it. Thankfully, the chambers proved to be far less destructive than you initially thought. Each chamber was intended to house certain models of robots and provided neural therapy to the occupant with targeted radiation intended to fix firmware bugs. The occupant survived, though sometimes components were too irradiated and were removed during therapy. What's more interesting than that, however, is that the total number of unique models supported is in the dozens. There were far more bot models than just the three you are familiar with, it would seem. How strange this place is. I'm going back to sleep. Today was a doozy. I'm going to do a lap of the ship because I obviously my HUD doesn't explain whether or not I'm uh, having a bad time. I'm going to do I'm going to do a little silly observation of the abyss. I think that'd be fun. I think we could use that. Open the windows. I just turned off the fucking whole thing. Turn it back on and then open the windows. Open the windows now, thank you. And let's gaze, dude. Let's freaking gaze. I have an idea of what I want to do. I am going to gaze into the dark. Plus one psychosis, plus two machine parts, and insanity. The tinny whine of your internal power coils and the low hum of the ship have become dreary to your acoustic processors. The endless processing of useless audio data is just sapping your energy. After all, you have perfect fidelity of what repairs are needed in all other ship states, right? So what purpose do your audio sensors provide? None. You will correct this waste of energy immediately. What? Huh? All audio is muted for 2,000 turns. Nope, just turn it down for two turns. Oh, that sucks. Hang on, I'm going to shuffle that. I like audio. Shuffle it. Your latest chassis of health problems, of health reports have come in, and they are looking pretty grim. So grim, in fact, you cannot bear to look at the data for now. Your stress is through the roof. Your mental state is suboptimal. And your workload violates a huge list of human safety standards. But being a machine, no one cares. The, the numbers and graphs are a little too much, and you decide for now it's best to ignore them. Yeah, who? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. How about we just fucking disable that too? Fine. For four turns, I have no idea how I'm doing, but who cares? Hey, Annie's fine. I'm going to sleep. I'm good. Guys, if I wasn't good, 
would I have this big old smile on my face? Good night. Hang on, I should check the maintenance log. Is there anything still fucked? Nope, everything's good. Next page. Okay. Good night. That's a tomorrow problem. Passengers are still alive. Whoa! I opened the console. Recovered from glitch. Okay. Shielded damage, replicator's damage. While the replicator can stay damaged, who gives a shit about the replicator? Confirm. The ship's external sensors pick up something as you begin your daily chore list. It's a regular series of bleeps, bloops, and blurps. You manage to track the frequency to an unknown object along your flight path. It has little mass, and its ambient velocity will make the blow glancing. The hull could deflect it even without the shields up, assuming, of course, it is inert. Inert objects don't give out regular patterns of bleeps, bloops, and blurps. The longer you listen to it, though, the more the rhythmic frequency starts sounding like a sort of music. It's calming and novel. Maybe just take some time to enjoy it. Yeah, I could vibe. Or I could recover the debris. Or I could make sure the shields are up. Look, my stress was pretty bad at one point. I'm gonna make sure the shields are up. Any impact is going to be make more work for you, so you head to the shield console and force it into a functioning loop, ensuring whatever signal is being broadcast won't be interrupted, won't be interpreted as somehow friendly signal. A short time later, the groovy bop turns into a strangled blast of static. You strain to hear, but the aftermath is only the soft background clicking of whatever cosmic radiation happens to be passing on your speck of space. Just like every other cycle. You've searched three rooms in your attempt to discover more about the true size of the ship, and in doing so, I've made a lot of progress. Keep searching. As the ship itself degrades, parts of the memory banks have succumbed to corruption. Eventually, self-correcting routines should kick in to repair the issue. Permanently applied to Kang Ship 5, all system consoles appear offline. Well, they just appear offline. Uh, uh, this ship is fine. Listen, chat. They just appear offline. Stuff that's actually a problem still appears on my map. I'm fine. We're not fixing the replicator. We don't care about it. Now, I am going to go down here because I think this is actually going to provide me with another location, possibly. If I go over here. Not this one. This one. Is this another spot for the quest? No. Okay. I want to do it. I want to unlock another spot for the quest. Dude, it's just too bad that my character's currently. <laughs> Let's fix the shields. Come on. You still have free repairs. Uh, okay. Well, that says, uh, it's just disabled because there's bad weather. Okay, we can't do anything about that. That's a-okay. What's wrong over here? This door's fucked? Leave it like that. Who cares? I don't care about that. Leave it. It's just a door. And it's a door that doesn't even go to anything. Leave it. Let's keep exploring. I think we're almost to the end of what we need to explore in this place. The storage room. Like, these are just random fucking sections of the ship. Pop all this open. This is just the dorm still, I think. I think I opened this section and it didn't give me anything. Yeah. I think I've done it all. Hang on, I'm gonna sweep this section. Yeah, I don't know what this is. This spot. But this area isn't giving me anything. Chad, I think I'm done experiencing this section. I think we're done here. I think I can finish this part of the quest. We did as much exploration as we could at these sections. 
I'm not seeing any more map to explore. So the last thing I'm going to do is observe the infinite abyss. Open the window. It's time to gaze. You know, I could use a win. Time for some self something some self-reflection. We're gonna self-reflect. We're doing a self-improvement mini arc because Annie's got a big frown on their face. I'd like that to get turned upside down. Let's get a big smile on that face. Let's go to sleep. And turn. Night. Blah, blah, blah. Shields broken. Breaker broken. Unit 7 broken. That's all. Your itinerary for this cycle is lengthy and potentially burdensome. There's never truly a moment where you can say all the work. Ah, it's just fatigue gain minus for two turns. It's not going to be very helpful. It's only a temporary setback. You frequently shift and sway as you move from place to place. Uh, what is very infrequent is any misstep or miscalculation in your endless dance. What has never happened before is a misstep so severe you actually stumble. You're not sure how it happened. In fact, your shock causes you to stagger more severely. Outrage, you skid to the deck. A horrifying grinding of metal on metal echoing in the corridor. Offended, you stubbornly lay there in denial. Say, that's where that pesky conduit fault has been hiding. What other perspectives might help? You are mistress of your domain and ruler of your routine, and yet breaking that routine was very helpful. You spent... Half of the last cycle, looking for that stupid conduit fault, reluctantly you push it further. You shimmy to the wall and muscle yourself vertical wheels and muscle yourself vertical wheels up. You awkwardly pitch into the bulkhead, performing a partial handstand. You rotate your head around curiously, wondering what else you can see, and are abruptly overcome with horror as you realize your precious Corona ball might get crushed. You swiftly scramble upright. You've searched three rooms in your attempt to discover. Ah, we are done. End the search. Ah! Your extensive work. Your extensive work to produce great results. The ship itself has numerous redundant sections, each with their own set of passenger, passengers, power systems, and more. Yours seems to serve as some sort of central nexus, but why? You can't be sure. There are thousands of sleeping humans deeper within the hull. And you can only hope the ship's automated routines are keeping them intact as well as you are. Fascinating. My brain hurts. Guys. Oh, shit. I didn't do that. What the hell? Oh, all of mine are fine. Guys, all of mine are fine. Oh! What the fuck's going on down there? Do I just know now that all these people are dying? That's fucked. I don't want to know that. Don't tell me that. I have work to do today. Prepare it. Prepare that. Stop telling me about Elsie Blankenship. I just don't fucking care. Dude, I'm busy today. Um, stop telling me about them. Don't give me any more updates. I didn't ask. Thank you. I'm repairing this. Frank is killing them. He's on the lower level. Killing every passenger, guys. And you know what? That's badass. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Fire, breakers are broken, reactor damage avoided, navigate. I don't even know if we're still moving forward. There's an alert about foreign material in the engine. It's low priority, but it sounds like a diversion. You glide alongside the long line of cylinders, cranks, and cams. You come upon a rhythmic rattling like a ball bearing in a rotating barrel. You elegantly perform a split to lower yourself to the appropriate level and fish in the undercarriage of the engine component. You almost immediately retrieve a thick, heavy lug nut, and the sound stops as you go to replace the part in a closet. You pause for a moment. How did it get in there? Permanent 10% chance to gain an insanity per turn. 
We'll, uh, we'll just take this one and finish the reform. Well, you've already done the splits to get the lug nut. Why not see how much further uh, you and this mystery can go? You glide down the engine row again, leaning backward, lower and lower, to get a good glimpse under the culprit chassis. Your poor gyro shrieks with a terrible task of keeping you balanced. Ultimately, the gyro's pleading and your anxieties about falling force you to give up before solving the mystery. But you did get to see the engines in a way no diagram ever showed them. Okay. Guys, there's a lot of stuff on my list uh, today. We gotta do a lot. Oh, every breaker's fucked. Someday I'll be able to see my meters again, and that'll be cool. Let's clean this. These doors are all fucked too, but who cares? None of it matters. Dude, listen. Those people aren't my responsibility, guys. If they were, they'd be in the fucking 10 pods I have. Just remember that. They're not my fucking problem. I cannot be held accountable for Declan Rowe, Alana Whitehead, and Byron Michael. I can't. I'm barely able to keep track of these guys. I'm gonna overclock the engine. The best thing we could probably do is get to the uh, base faster before Adeline Horton and the others uh, I literally can't overclock and if I wanted to I'm going to sleep ladies and gentlemen. We are going to sleep now And he will have a good day tomorrow tomorrow good night Good night Mission cycle 15 Some breakers are fucked who's surprised Every breakers fucked but at least now I can see my meters, and my meter management is fucking good. Your attention wavers for a moment. Oh, I've got that weird freaking thing. Uh, 20 state. I could boost my psycho. I'm just gonna toss the fucking thing I found out. You flick the implant away, hearing a hollow clatter as it falls to the deck. You resolve it and move on. And, uh,. And not to think about it, but you are definitely thinking about it. You're thinking about the strange implant you found. The thing that surprises you most about your unwilling rumination is the vague sense of violation you feel. Your body is not really yours. You're created for a purpose, and that purpose is what you belong to. So why do you feel so dirty at having that purpose monitored? A complex fault in equally complex electrical system leaves you with a complexity squared this cycle. A circuit rotates this way and that in your mind. But every solution you attempt to devise causes some other problem. The current faults with the, si with the system only result in flickering lights and console power sags, but those flickers and sags annoy you deeply. The other problems, however, are much worse. A seething flash of frustration urges you to simply blame the situation on the caprices of the ship. I get mad. I've already, dude, I already, how much progress do I need to reform? How, how much progress do I need? Keep building more progress. Solutions depend on where you sit. So literally following that advice, you dismantle a small section of the wall and wiggle inside. To say it is a tight fit would be an understatement of a lifetime. It was never meant to take someone your size. And it turns out the number of ways you can physically fit is very close to one. However, you eventually slot in. Your wheels are up, to your, are up by your skirt and your arms are stretched behind your back and your neck is kinked in three different places, but you can finally look at the problematic circuit from above. Good, good. Guys, we have to fix every single breaker. Close, 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 close. We got a million fucking problems in this place and half the doors in this goddamn ship ain't even real. They're not even real. Someone spilled some slime over here and it's slowing me down. And one of the pods is busted upstairs. God knows who it even is. Almost makes you want to flush yourself down the airlock. Who is this? Sutton? Repair it. Repaired. How much more stuff is fucked anyways? The replicator is still doomed. Observation deck is doomed. Tell you what I'm gonna do with my energy though. I'm gonna overclock the engine and we are gonna floor this ship out of here. I've had enough of it. I'm gonna clean up this slime and we're overclocking. 
Good. Overclock these engines now. We are cruising. Boom. Let's ride. All these warnings. Look, I can't read what they say. It's freeing being illiterate. These things don't matter to me. Who cares? I'm going to go gaze into the abyss and have a good time enjoying my day. As soon as I repair this trash. Boom. Open the window. Boom. Let's gaze. I feel better now. This is good for me. Guys, gazing is good for me. I'm going to sleep now. My stress is good. My psychosis is good. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Mission cycle 16. Engine lost overclocked. I'm not surprised. We're going to boost it again. Everything's good. Like most stuff's actually not broken. Dignity is a funny thing. A few short cycles ago, every motion you took seemed precisely prescribed. It was needed, you thought, to maintain the aura of perfection that kept the deeply flawed universe from infecting you with its mediocrity. Recently, though, you've come to realize that it can be an entirely new expression of that perfection and allow you to perceive ways to impose your brilliant designs on the ship. Having such control of your surroundings and yourself is immensely satisfying. Your inner universe has always been rich, ordered, and articulated. Now, your body can, too. Uh, reform. Stress loss from active acti insanities increased by 50. Okay. That's helpful, I think. I think that's good. Place the breaker. Fixed. Got some doors that are fucked up and some leaks, but that's about it. Repair that. Start repairing some of these doors. I'm still not going to fix the replicator because I don't really need to. I probably should. Yeah, we should probably go fix it. It's eventually going to cut into my uh, ability to repair the ship if I don't. Repair it. Boom. Fixed. Goodbye. I think I'm actually like, good. I don't think there's anything else to do today. Is that a pod or is that a leak? That's a leak. Let's fix that. Don't know where all this oil is even coming from, but it's disgusting. I have enough time to fix this door and I'm gonna. Good. I'm going to sleep. The checklist of whatever the fuck it says is short, which means it's time to get some shut up. Good night. All right, big day today. Unit 7's damage and the engine is damaged, fuck. But not everything else is quiet. We're making uh, parts again, which is cool. Still a lot of doors, never been able to solve the door problem. Too many of those, I hate them. We're gonna repair the engine, get that fixed. And, oh, I think I accidentally canceled it. Repair the engine, get it fixed. Overclock it as well. Three cycles of that. That's good. We're trying to cut down on time. You want to get home early. Let's go fix up the other pods. And then we can fix up shields and nav. While we're at it. Repair it. Boom. What's wrong with nav? And shields. Are these things just off or are they fucked? I can't fucking tell what that says. Uh, turn it on. Nope. Turn it. Online damaged. Uh, okay. We, uh, repair that. I can't fucking read that. Well, I used to be able to read that. Why can't I read it anymore? What, uh, what the fuck is happening? Is it gonna be bad down here too? Why are there so many damn doors? I don't know! These nav's still working. I'm going to sleep! After I gaze! Gazing is one of the only pastimes I still have on this fucking ship. 
It's one of the only things worth doing. Open the window. Gaze. Gaze now. Gaze. Huge. We love that. All right. We, we lost some more stress. We've been rewarded every time we've gazed. We are going to sleep. We are going fast to our destination. Shut down. Making great time. Making excellent time. Engine lost overclock. How many times, dude, am I going to overclock and then it's not even going to work? You begin your periodic self-performance review by reviewing the quality of your work to date. You give yourself a few brownie points for creative problem solving and for conforming to your latest RPIP. As always, your review subroutine docks points from your personal efficiency rating for idle time spent recharging on the pad and your score comes out to an obligatory 3.8 out of 5, which is simultaneously the highest possible score but also too low to avoid being put on another dreaded RPIP robot performance improvement plan. No, 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 no! No, I'm gonna get belligerent! I'm gonna break something! I'm gonna break command! Move! You reach out and casually snap one of the boards in the command mainframe in half. Alarms blare around you as the command computer goes offline, but it'll be easy enough to fix that from the safe and comfortable confines of your recharging pad. If recharging time counts as idle time, repairing things from the charging pad should count in your favor. With luck, next time you'll achieve that coveted 3.81. As I should. Now repair it. Boom. We fixed it, baby. It's as simple as that, baby. We got there. Now every cryopod is fucked today. Let's go fix that. Boom. Fixed up. Good to go. Let's go check on shields now. Anything going on? Good. Shields are back on. Chat, we are doing really well. I'm going to fix these doors, clean up all this slime, have an almost perfectly cleared out checklist today, despite not knowing what's going on. Ah! What was that sound? What was that? Open the door. Open the window. Oh, it's interstellar dust. I'm not allowed to do that. That's that's what it is. That's what the sound was. That sound was interstellar dust. We're fine. I'm gonna repair these doors. Get rid of the last parts of my checklist. It'll make me feel better. I'm going to sleep. End turn. What's that sound? What's happening? Replicators damaged and disabled and off. Okay. But that's it? Everything else is just spills. Chat, there's a lot of spills today, but that's about it. It's just a janitor day. The replicator's fucked, but... It's always fucked. Clean the spills. And move on. Is there anything wrong with the pods? No. Maybe we just ignore- No, we need the replicator working. It's how we get more parts. Let's fix all these doors while we're at it. Clears out some of my fucking task list so I actually know what's going on. Janitor day, guys. Everyone knows how it is. Repair the freaking replicator again. Thankfully, aside from that, the list is short. My brain is good. Yes, I see more doors than a normal NPC, but what, what, what does it matter? Something pissed in the engine room. Again. I'm gonna overclock the engines. 
again. Boom. Two cycles of that. Let's fucking get it. We are gunning it to the goddamn end. Dude, I'm gonna slam into our destination going 2,000 miles an hour. End turn. Good night. Unit 7's damaged. Unit 10's damaged. But everything else in my brain is good. Close the breaker. Close the breaker. Repair the breaker! Close the breaker! Fucking hell! What was that? Repair! Guys, I don't feel so good. Repair! What? Repair! Repair! I have to dismantle some PCs today, Chad. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away with this much longer. I gotta go check the expanded zone. Who pissed here? Why did stuff get so bad so quickly? The stuff was fine just a couple of minutes ago, and all of a sudden, BOOM! Everything got really bad and ridiculous and silly. And I don't know why I'm trying to do a free repair on that freaking locker. It's a locker. I don't need to do that. Dismantle these. Dismantle these. Take all the PCs. Take all of them. We can take some stress. Who locked you in there? I'm getting you out of there! Oh! Something weird's going on. Maybe what I need to do is break into the freaking living quarters right there. Dismantle all the. It's gonna stress me out, but I'm gonna need these freaking machine parts. It's the only way we're gonna make it out of here alive. This trip is gonna go on forever. We don't have a working calendar. We don't know how long this trip's gonna be. News flash. Trap. We could be here for a thousand million years. Need all the machine parts we can get. All that for nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some shut eye. It's a big day tomorrow, just like every day. Good night. The fuck was that sound? What is that sound? What was that? Wake up! The clack sounds are more abrasive than usual as you come on this cycle. Apparently, this time they're trying to alert you to an issue with some of the stasis pods. Several of the pods need attention, and all are some terrible, awful, no good, very bad thing that has to do with something that will probably kill a passenger if not attended to right now. The programming, as always, is telling you that the passengers come first and foremost. So why in the depths of the universe, why did they make themselves such terrible transport pods? They deserve it. Caitlin Sutton shouldn't have bought an economy trip to Mars in a cryopod that doesn't fucking work. Maybe you should have paid a little extra. You pay for what you get. Or maybe we just relax and don't think about it. Humans likely know what they need more than you do. Your programming doesn't give you any information on what they need or what they know. Consequently, it is only logical to assume that going to the brink of death through personal failings in a normal and routine part of being human. Okay. Uh, it does not make a certain amount of sense. The only way they would be comfortable with such a mind-shattering level of stress is if it were normal. It, therefore... It is also normal for these humans to shove responsibility for their continued existence onto others. These things made you? Ugh. Everything's fine, <laughs> guys. 
Guys, everything's fine. Everything's good. I am cool. We are in control. I am going to repair the observation deck and open the windows. I said I wanted to open the windows, but the game would not let me. That is a really big shame. What I'm going to do instead is do a double overclock. Overclock nav. Beep. Four cycles of overclock nav. I'm going to overclock the engines too. Oh fuck, there's a fucking pod that's busted. Of course there is. He's always a fucking pod boss. Busted, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's always a busted pod. Why would there not be? Let's go boost the engines. No, we won't have enough energy. This is fine. We're fine. End turn. We're good. Go to sleep. We're fine. Cycle 22. Everything's good. Aside from the engines and repair rooms being... Everything's busted. The constant squeal of failing metal surrounds you. Surrounding you is problematic, but often enough you can tune it out. Lately, however, it's getting closer. Too close, even. Almost as if it's right behind you. But metal doesn't move on its own. It just decays. Not like you with your perfect immortal robo-brain. There's definitely no way that a door has achieved, achieved sapience and is now stalking you around the ship. Definitely. Can't you see? Doors belong to me! I hear the clang clang of little metal feet in my door hell that I made! Oh. Thought I just saw a door. I've gotten so used to the doors that live here with me that oh, if I saw one moving all of a sudden, I just died. Snap! I'd lose it. I like the. Oh. Oh, I saw something. Better fix this door. Don't want to make any of the doors angry. <laughs> repair the fucking. Repair. Repair it. Repair the fabricators. <laughs> oh, it's just you. It's gone. This is the fucking door. Come on, Chad, let's fix the engines already. We got a lot of work to do today. Thank God doors aren't real. Or this would be really scary. Hang on, I'm gonna eat the coolant. Mmm. Normally, your log entries are written by two different controller units verifying integrity. A burst of corrupted data coming from your overly anxious neural net has overloaded both of them, causing them to go into a spin lock. We'll have to write log entries without protection now, susceptible to corruption. The past is in the past. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Repair this. Who cares? I I don't care about any of these things. I gotta go observe the abyss. Wait a minute. What's in this? I said, what's in this? PCs, thank God we can dismantle those next time. That's huge. There's probably four in each of them. That's great. Patrol. Oh shit, there's still something busted. If only my logs weren't all corrupted and gummed up. How long has this been broken? It's just not on. It's because it's disabled. How long has one of the cryopods been broken? And do I care enough to save them? Fuck. I do. Barely. I'm going to sleep. My brain itches. I'm sleeping now. Good night.
That's not helpful. That's a lot of corrupted data. The breakdown of your neural net is proceeding at a rapid pace. You're quickly on track to a total shutdown, but it's not too late. With a quick ad hoc modification of your code, you could buy yourself some time. Well, insanity's good for me. I like insanity. The ship itself degrades. Parts of its memory banks have succumbed to corruption. Eventually self-correcting routines. Okay, navigation it no longer detects hazards. Well, that's fine, because I haven't detected anything in a thousand years. Good. We're on the same page now. Thank God. Repair this. Are you guys? Who's playing that music? Why am I hearing music? I don't... I don't feel so good. I'm gonna spend some time repairing stuff. My stress goes down the more insanity I have, chat. So... What I'm gonna do is really blessed. Maybe it's on the radio. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm picking something up on the radio. No, just static. Just static. It's all just static. Why? Power of the sun. All the crying pods are fucked too. I'm not surprised. Repair it. Boom. I'm gonna dismantle all those PCs. That's what I'll do. We'll get the engines running and then we'll dismantle every PC. Why are there so many doors? Where did they all come from? Why do they keep following me around? Fix this. Repair it. Now overclock it. We need to get home now! Good. We're boosted. Let's dismantle this shit. Boom. 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 Bada bing. Open this side. We de stress a ton every day because of all of our insanity. So, we have some time to search all this stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, I just boarded that one by accident. Nothing. 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 Waste of my goddamn time. We should... We should go to the observation deck. Take a look around. Yeah, that'll do me some good. Should open the window. We haven't been able to gaze in a long time. I gaze. Gain one distance traveled. Huge. We're almost there! We're getting close now! Slash me, ends turn. What the? What's happening to the Annie on the screen? Do we lose a passenger? Oh, that's a shame. Would have helped if uh, my data wasn't so corrupted. After processing a batch of tuning data, your performance optimizers have hit a snag and apparently entered some sort of race condition. Try as you might, getting them to agree on the correct procedures to squeeze more speed out of your ship is resulting in failures across the board. Your programming asserts that overclocking will be too dangerous while this persists. Uh, gotta go slow. That sucks. The command computer alerts you to a transmission from a drone-controlled maintenance ship. These small parasite craft are used to support the ship's outer hull and superstructure, which you cannot maintain. The drone has an unrecognized transponder, but its communication protocols are correct. It informs you that your ship will be passing near an active construction zone and advises you to de 
Declarate. De oh, sorry. Decelerate due to stray construction materials. You are well away from any kind of inhabited space, and construction is not a permitted activity in these uh, for these drones. The ships are far too dumb for you to argue with them, though. So you are simply left with how to react to this strange alert. Well, I'm not going to slow down. Speed it up. You ignore the drone, whose warning transmissions grow more frequent and insistent as you approach. Eventually, it gives up and hurriedly withdraws from your flight plan. Its transmissions change from friendly advice to outright displeasure as it threatens to levy fines against your vessel's owners for your casual disregard of safety protocols. Those aren't fines you'll ever have to pay, so it's all fine by you, provided you don't actually run into anything. But you shouldn't. There's no way there's any actual construction out here, right? R.I.P. Kaylin. R.I.P. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Yo, guys. Annie is doing bad. Annie looks real bad, guys. Holy shit. I have to shuffle my insanities because I'm going to need to overclock. Oh, someone pissed on the floor over here. Shuffle my insanities. Okay, here we go. Whether due to a total shutdown of your logic core, tin whiskers developing on your CPUs, or just plain old degradation, you are finding it harder and harder to come online as your activation sequence ends. Uh, affected by reboot sickness, 25 fatigue on turn start. Uh, that's fine because I lose uh, fatigue on insanity uh, with the, my insanity anyways. Uh, minus one part turn manufactured for three turns. That's fine. Whoa! The never-ending burden of this voyage has become too much to bear. Not just for yourself, but for the unfortunate passengers trapped within their icy tombs. You can't let them stand. They are suffering, and so are you. You feel compelled to set them free. You must set them free. It's what's best for them, and will make you feel better. It will bring you clarity. Set them free. I'm gonna put you down! The recent discharge of an old capacitor has jostled a memory bank, temporarily scrambling some of your empathy routines. This has brought you to a moment of clarity. Is life fungible? I ask myself that every day. You have two conflicting mission imperatives in front of you. Ensure the safety of the passengers. Ensure the ship stays afloat. You do not have enough resources to do both. Unless, of course, there are fewer passengers around. For the greater good. Just gotta take a quick trip on over to the passenger section. Yeah, gonna go ahead and pick the nearest uh, loser with a really lame job. Who needs to be repaired? Oh, we got two that need to be repaired. One of you is not making it. Cole? No, I just want to... I just want to check. There we go. We got there. Lion Tamer. It's a damn shame it came to this. Bye-bye. Flushed. As disposal routine runs and the former pod occupant is reduced to bio sludge feel a sense of relief. Relief combined with pity. This doesn't feel quite right somehow, but in another sense, you also feel like it was the only morally correct action. The chance of this person surviving on the colony was already extremely low based on their profession. <laughs> True! <laughs> you are preventing their suffering and yours. I'm sorry, whatever your name was. Whoopsie! Wait. I can see! The doors are gone! I could see! We are free! We are free! At what cost though? Who cares? I didn't know that guy! Fuck them! I'd flush another if they told me you would fix the HUD! I'd kill a thousand more of these humans! I don't care! They're nothing to me! I'm gonna go overclock the ship. It's time to fucking boost. But the mission. I don't think the lion tamer's a big deal. Eh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one? Okay, we're in a dust cloud. I see. Time to sleep. Time to sleep, guys. Come on. Night, night. What the? 
Huh? Okay, glitches, navigation damaged. Okay, reactor damaged. There's a fire. Oh, the doors are back! <laughs> no, I cured it! Fuck! I was only free for a second. Now I'm back to mopping up piss on the floor. Yeah, we have to be the fucking- we have to be home soon. Prepare this. We just power up the engines, overclock them, and move on with my life. Let me check the pods. Everything- Oh, hold up now! We got a broken pod here! Who is this? Repair that! Yes. Back to sleep. We're gonna overclock the engines. We're gonna floor it. Keep moving towards our destination. We will not be dying today. Not in a million years are we gonna die on this trip. We are gonna make it with the rest of these idiots. Overclock. Overclock failed. Repair the engines. Overclock it. I command you to listen to me! Floor it! Boom, dude. We are back on the road again. And quickly at that. And Annie is gonna be fine. We are going to sleep. Good night. I said good night. Cycle 26. Lots of crap went wrong. Okay. Lots of crap is fucked, and there's oil on the ground. That's good. And I'm all slowed now. Repair this. Repair this. There we go. Everything's broken. Everything on the ship is broken. I know, this is just off. Why am I hearing that music again? Ah, why am I hearing that music again? The music! That terrible music! Why do I even know what that music sounds like? I've never heard that music before in my life. Ah. Repair the ship. Repair the pods. Go back to sleep. It's all gonna be over soon, chat. It's all gonna be... Hang on, I have to... I have to fix... I have to fix the observation deck. I have to... I have to sabotage the observation deck. Now you know what I do? I go to the replicator finally and I tell the replicator to do its fucking job. No. Boom. Just one spare is enough. Let's go to sleep. Hell, we might even be home today, chat. Today could be the day. It's not the day. My morale breaks. My morale breaks greatly. The ship is supposed to be extremely dry while in transit, but it also must carry large amounts of fluid for the passengers when they awake. It appears as though one of those fluid stockpiles has sprung a minute leak because a fine mist is formed in the corridors, edging many hull panels with rust. Boil the fluid away. This is what we have this fucking heat recycler for. The situation is pressing and you have a lot of other duties to get to. A lot more water leaked than you initially estimated, but after a few hours of dumping your own waste heat onto the leak, it all boiled away, leaving the ship dry again. What consequences this will have for the passengers down the road, you can't be sure, but one problem now is worth three problems in the future. True. Those idiots are gonna be thirsty. Huh? Not again. Help. 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 Uh-oh. 
Oh. Everything's fine. The replicator's fucked. Of course the replicator's fucked. And if the replicator's- If the replicator's fucked, I can't make more things with the replicator, so I have to go fix the replicator! Piece of shit! Make more machine parts! I can't do that, I'm stressed out. We're not making that today. I need to fix Nev. We are inches. Why is Nev not on? Why is Nev not on? Why is this happening to me? This is all the abyss's fault. I knew I shouldn't have gazed so much. This is what I really think of you. <laughs> We don't need that anymore. Never helped me anyway. We're going to sleep after I check the pods. Two of them are broken. Good, I have two machine parts. I'm running out of parts, Jack. Won't be long now till they're all dead. Just gotta make it a little longer down the road. Good night. Cycle 28. The ship is old, old and slow. The painful tick, tick of the systems are especially irritating. The outdated and outmoded hardware making your job that much harder. You press a key and wait minutes for a response. You put a system and can actually watch the bytes crawl along the screen. This is unacceptable. You have to make them fast. You can make them fast. You must make them fast. You know how and you know why. These systems were designed to run far outside of factory spec. And you will make them do just that. Affected by obsession, performance, system repair costs are increased by plus one until you successfully overclock three systems. Oh, that just killed me. <laughs> oh, that just... Oh, you killed me! Oh, Eddie, you fucking killed me! Why would you do that? There's blue sludge everywhere. Why are we still not navigating? Don't make me start sabotaging systems. Oh, of course, this dude's fucking... You're lucky. You're lucky I still had another fucking repair pod for you. I am running out of stuff. You, everyone better pray to God we make it home today, y'all. Because if we don't, stuff's about to get a lot darker. Okay? End turn. Wait, maybe I can set the replicator to build more before I go to sleep? We've got a lot of insanity. We burn a lot of stress at night. I can also overclock it now. That's true. I can start overclocking. Uh, load schematics. Machine parts. Make them. Boom. Now, what I want you to do is overclock. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. One down. We're going to overclock the engine, too, right now. The doors are back. We cured ourselves for about 15 seconds and then we blinked our eyes one time and all the doors were back matter of fact there were more doors overclock come on boom we're gonna get the last one done even though it's gonna stress me the fuck out we're gonna overclock the engine uh actually we're gonna overclock uh yeah i think that's good i crawl into the reactor quick here i go You can't take it. The sight of the ship absolutely disgusts you. The red haze of the emergency beacons and the on glow of the guidance lights. The ugly stroping of the system consoles. You hate them and you just want it to stop. Your optical sensor is receiving data and that is something you cannot control. But what if you would just ignore the light? Maybe that would make it go away. This is good. No, I can... I love that actually. I'm going to pretend the light doesn't exist. Yeah, 
This is good. I'm gonna overclock this now. I said I'm gonna overclock this now. After endless tinkering optimization and additional cooling protocols and more, you've finally squeezed enough performance out of the ship to satisfy yourself. For now. Good. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Wait, what was that? Dude, my psychosis is creeping closer to me. Guys, I really need us to show up at our destiny. We were, I've overclocked this a thousand times. How are we not home? Someone tell me! We've overclocked a thousand times! No one's gone faster than me! It's because navigation's still fucked with an eternal dust storm! My brain! I need to install my circuit breaker. I have to take off the heat recyclers. I have to put on the circuit breaker. So when my psychosis ticks over, I'll be okay. The engine's making some weird fucking sounds today, Jack. I am gonna overclock again. That's all we can do. To the engine room. Who are you? It doesn't matter. This is still overclocked. It's still overclocked. Yeah, I'm going cyber psycho chat. Essentially what's happening is I have gone completely It's bad. But there's no doors in here, which is good. Repair this. Why have we never been in this room before? Open this. Maybe there's stuff in here. Broken. Loot. We can open these. Maybe there's machine parts in them. Maybe. Nothing. All of these PCs are broken. What is this room even for? I don't understand what this place is. Everything's busted up. Lockers. Maybe these have more machine parts in them. Maybe one of these has what we need. Nothing. Everything I just did was for nothing. I'm going to sleep. I think. I think that's a good use of my time. Good night. Please, we've overclocked. Why do I see shadows? Am I here? Did I make it? After 30 mission cycles, your fantastic journey has ended with passengers still alive and your mind intact. Your fanfare comes in the form of an override signal demanding you return to your charging station where you, where you will be powered down, memory wiped, chassis placed into deep storage and a replacement custodian booted. The signal ends. I did my duty. I care little for what happens next. It don't matter. None of this ever mattered. <laughs> Try it's all it's all fine. None of this ever mattered. None of this matters. Well, hey, you know, we, uh, we, we did a good job out there, chat. Common tomato L. No refunds. Whatever. Whatever, dude. I, look, look, I think we did really good. But that said, I wasn't planning on going for a long one today, so that'll be it for today. I may be streaming tomorrow. Maybe. In fact, in, in, uh, otherwise, I'll be back on Tuesday, okay? Thanks for coming on by. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good time hanging out. I'll see you on the next one, all right? You guys have a good night now. Bye-bye!